Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a tutorial on the truncated icosi dodecahedron. This is one of the largest puzzles that Very Puzzle has made to date. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you every step of a scramble and solve. Now, just before we get started, if you're here for the algorithm that will help you solve the last few corners on the last layer, check the links in the description. Um, you can jump right to it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have links in the uh, description for every major part of the solve, so feel free to jump around. Uh, you can uh, skip to the section that's of interest to you, or just watch the whole thing. Okay, that's uh, exactly why I make these videos, uh, so you can have the information you need. All right, well, what is this thing? This is the truncated icosidodecahedron. Um, this is the second version of this puzzle from Very Puzzle. Uh, they made a void version of the puzzle uh, a while back, which is also a, a wonderful puzzle. And the only difference in the solve is that on the void version, instead of uh, starting on a particular face, you're just going to find an edge uh, that you'll start with. And then you have to use the, uh, the adjacent corner uh, to figure out what the adjacent face colors are. But otherwise the solve is exactly the same. It's just a little bit more challenging uh, and it's this is a lot of fun. All right um, now uh, I'm just gonna get started scrambling the puzzle. I'll tell you a little bit more about this uh, TI, Truncated Icosidotachedron. So it's a big puzzle. It has uh, 62 faces. Uh, 12 of them are uh, decagons, which are these big ten-sided faces here. Uh, Twenty of them are hexagons, which are the uh, six-sided uh, faces here. And then there are 30 of these uh, square faces. So quite a large puzzle. Now um, there are some rules about the puzzle because it has such a, a complex geometry. Uh, there are some rules about turning the faces. So uh, one rule is that the uh, decagons have to be turned uh, two steps. Uh, which is actually easy to figure out. On this puzzle I have uh, these um, textured stickers uh, on the on the squares on the, um, and so the textured edge has to go to textured edge, right? So that, it's pretty straightforward to, uh, to figure out. Um, now the uh, hexagons, uh, they make two steps as well and the squares make 180 degree uh, turns. Um, it's actually pretty good because the puzzle won't let you uh, turn, if I say turn this wrong, the puzzle, it it's, you could probably force it, but if you're uh, turning gently, it, it's not going to uh, allow you to, to do it, to, to move a face that's in the wrong uh, stepping. Um, this was a major issue uh, with some of the early Tutmix uh, puzzles from from very puzzle in that they let you make these uh, wrong moves and then the puzzle would get in a pretty bad state. It make it harder and harder to turn. This one doesn't really suffer from that. Um, it's a very shallow cut puzzle. The, the cuts are, are very shallow so it's not particularly difficult to solve but because there are so many faces and so many pieces there is a lot of work to do and uh, so that's one of the things that makes it kind of challenging. Um, there's also a little bit at the end where having an algorithm uh, would kind of just helps uh, kind of ease you into that last uh, uh, little bit after doing the same thing for so long um, suddenly you have to change the way you solve the puzzle. Um, finally I'm going to show you some strategies that I use to solve the puzzle uh, and just kind of get you get you going uh, th through it. All right. Well, it is a big solve, a uh, big scramble, um, as well as being a big solve. So I'm gonna gonna keep going here. Now these are not uh, factory stickers. These are uh, third-party stickers, and I'll, I'll have a link in the description to show you where I got those. And uh, um, yeah. So wait. Now, when you're scrambling a big puzzle like this, honestly, um, it, it doesn't take much to get a good uh, solve because once you start solving it, of course, you're going to be moving other things around. Um, but I am going to take a little bit of time to, uh, to scramble it up just to make sure uh, that I can show you every single thing this, this puzzle dishes out. 
Uh, yeah. So. Alright, we're doing this here. So yeah, I'm going to show every step as, as much as possible. Um, I will, oops, okay, so that was a case where I hadn't turned the decagon uh, properly and the puzzle kind of uh, stopped me from making a, a subsequent turn. It didn't stop me from <laughs> the wrong turn, it just stopped me from doing anything else. Alright, now I guess while I'm, I'm sh doing the scramble here, um, this is uh, summertime here in northern Ontario, Canada, and I have my window open, so you're going to hear all sorts of nature sounds, and um, you may hear a plane taking off. Nothing to be alarmed about. I live very, very close to a, a water aerodrome uh, where planes take off from the water, so it, it sounds really loud, but um, you get used to it. Um, and it's just a, a sign, of, a sound of summer, anyway, uh, around here. Okay. So there we go. So yeah, so uh, scrambling and saying is a pretty big commitment because it, it does take a, I don't know, a few hours anyway to solve the thing. Um, I've not really tried to speed solve it, and I never really timed myself because I just, uh, just enjoy solving these big puzzles. Just do a little bit at a time, uh, and uh, that's it. So, yeah, especially like having a big puzzle on the go when uh, you know I come home from work, or come home from from being outside, and then just sit and solve my puzzle for a little while. Okay, I think I'm. Yeah, so as I say, you know, it would be it would be really easy just to kind of cut the video and just, uh, you know, just come back with it all scrambled. But I just want to show you everything, just in case you want to see it. Okay, so that's that's why I'm putting this on here. Um, there we go. Ooh. So, um, this bears, the, the solve bears a little bit of resemblance to... Uh, the Tutmix solve, uh, however, uh, yeah, they're both for fairly shallow cut puzzles. However, the, the Tutmix do have some uh, corner orientations to do where you really don't have that on here. Um, this is a pretty mild uh, puzzle in, in that sense. The corners uh, will never get uh, flipped around. Um, so as long as you... Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite easy to join them, as you'll see. Wow. Okay. Uh, I think the scramble's uh, looking pretty good here. Oops, okay, I'll do that. Of course, there's always going to be sections that I missed here, but I, you know what? I think, uh, all right, a couple a couple more turns. A couple more turns. It's, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Speaking of turning, this thing really turns very well. This is broken in now. I've solved it quite a few times, um, and it just it turns really well. Um, having these big knobs on the decagons is um, makes them turn uh, nicely, but uh, really, you know, they, they're not strictly necessary uh, because it would be possible to turn them. Um, some people have had trouble with the uh, void version of this puzzle. Um, turning it but I suspect that a lot of it is just you have to adjust it it is a little finicky to adjust so that might make it a little more difficult because the void puzzle is a sort of on a rail system okay let's see here is that it Does that look good okay well once we get started with the solve a everything else is just going to get all mixed up all the other pieces so um, yeah we don't have to I don't have to do any more here so uh, the way I suggest uh, that you get started with solving the uh, TI the truncated icosidotic hedron is uh, pick an end point uh, pick a face color that stands out to you and that'll be your goal right and then 
if you flip the puzzle over, generally speaking, um, there'll be a another face there that you can use as your uh, starting point that has a very different color than the ending point. Now you don't necessarily have to start at the face opposite uh, your ending point. You could start on, on one one side or the other, but it is easier uh, to start at the bottom. As long as you follow the steps I'm going to show you though, um, it really doesn't matter where you start. You can you can adjust things to, if you start on the side, you'll adjust your, your work until you're eventually working up towards the the end game. So on my puzzle I'm going to uh, aim towards gray, that will be the last face, and which means I'm going to start on the white face down here. So uh, to start, well um, to start uh, what I want to do is uh, uh, put in all of the uh, non-decagon uh, edges, well in this case they're the bottom uh, decagon is surrounded by uh, uh, alternating uh, squares and hexagons. Um, so what I want to do here is just put in all of these edges uh, all the way around. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. This is really a little bit of a different uh, different from what we're going to be doing next, but it gives us a good start. Alright, so just the edges. So for example, this uh, square here has a pink and it's a texture on my puzzle, it's a carbon fiber texture, so I'm going to find what I need is a pink and a white here. So I'm going to look around the puzzle. Now, the first few pieces and, and even the first few layers of the puzzle, of course, uh, piece, finding pieces on such a gigantic puzzle is the trick. So there it is right there, and we're going towards the white here. So remember that the uh, square faces turn 180 degrees and I like to think of the decagons as the super highway of this puzzle because they can move pieces a very very long way okay. so there's the the piece I was looking for and I wanted it to go over onto the pink so I'm just gonna turn it and now we have our first edge piece inserted on this giant puzzle Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and insert all of these pieces. And it doesn't matter. I can, I can all, go around or I can do all of the uh, square face ones um, first. It doesn't really matter how I do it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'd like to do is the square, square ones just because they're easier to find. Um, so we're looking for white. And, um, okay, well, here's white and silver. So why don't I just go ahead and put the white and silver in. Wait, that's white and gold. Oh, okay, it's over here. So I have the piece I want to move onto this face, and this is where it belongs. So the nice thing is I can just uh, move this over, put the piece in, and then move it back. That saves me a lot of time moving pieces around the puzzle. Uh, that's a fairly common technique that we're going to use here. So here's the white and silver. So again, I'm going to bring it up, up here. To a square face, and I know it's a square face because of the texture. Um, there's the piece where it belongs. Oops, I lost, <laughs> I lost my place. Okay, so there's where it belongs. I just flip it around, and then move everything back. Okay, so I'm getting my pieces put in. So this is the uh, this is this very start of uh, the solve. Uh, you can see maybe now why I, I chose the the uh, white to uh, start because it's such a uh, the pieces stand out so well. Uh, now this is uh, white and orange. Um, where's the orange? Oh, it's okay. It's over there. So use my technique. Um, now this one's already in, but I'm going to show you. It really doesn't matter. So the uh, this red piece is the one we're going to replace. So here it is. I replace it, and now since I knew this piece was in, um, I have a good uh, way to to know when to when to stop. So, um, Let's see, I think we got one more to do here. And there it is, the lime green and white up top here. I'll just bring it down. Um, okay, so so there it is right there. It, it goes there. That piece is already filled, but on this puzzle it is so easy to replace pieces. Alright, well at this point I have all of the uh, five uh, 
square face edges so uh, the decagon to square or deca uh, square edges in and uh, now I will put in the uh, hex edges and again this is a, the, every step after this we're going to do it just slightly differently but this is just to establish our, our bottom uh, layer uh, as as we would say bottom layer all right well let's I'm just going to find a good color to start again it's it's can be really hard to to find pieces when the puzzle's scrambled like this so I'm looking for this lime green I think that'll stand out I'm looking for a white and lime green and it's a small square edge and I'm just going to look around the puzzle until I find it uh, let's see okay uh -huh. Uh, there it is right there okay so um, there's the piece I want and it's going up here but we can use the same technique I, I used before except this time we need to go on to a hex edge and this piece I'm gonna move it up here but first I'm gonna put the, the piece I'm replacing there uh, turn it up okay and then we can go back Okay, and now we put our first uh, hex decagon edge in. Okay, oh, this is great. Um, at this point, you know, I could just look around for anything that has white on it and just uh, just kind of shuffle, shuffle, shuffle it in that way. Um, as a matter of fact, this one, uh, the dark orange, kind of a reddish orange, and orange up here. Um, so this is the piece we want to replace. We already have a piece there, so I'm not, I'm not going to turn this until I, I move that piece down. Okay, there's the piece to be replaced. Put the piece in that I'm replacing, and now I'm going to stop when I, I get the everything lined back up. And there's our, our edge piece. Very, very, very simple, uh, very repetitive, uh, very relaxing, I, I find, anyway. Uh, relaxing. I just come home and I do a little bit of this or just before I, I go to sleep I, I just do a few of these um, so there's a, a piece it goes over here let's bring it bring it over and there we go all right uh, let's see I, there's got to be more of them okay there's the purple so uh, again, I use the uh, the decagons, the adjacent decagons that we haven't worked on yet, as the super highways of uh, of the puzzle. You can move a piece right across a puzzle very quickly with it. Um, so there we go with uh, with that edge. Now you might now be seeing why I want to do edges first, and the reason is that we don't have to. Um, that turning one of these moves just an edge. It uh, it it also moves corners. So since we're not worried about the corners. Uh, it, it leaves all of these um, uh, hexagons and uh, squares available to use to install pieces. So yeah, there, there is a kind of a, an idea behind this whole thing. All right, I'm, st I'm just looking around for white, any piece with white on it, because we know that's, that's what's left. So there it is. Now because these are hex decagon edges, um, I automatically uh, turn it towards the, uh, the hexagons and the, the decagons when I want to move them. There we go. That one's uh, lined up and I, it, because we're not worried about the corners, I just put it in place. And if I'm not mistaken, do I have everything? Wow, okay, so that's it. That's the entire bottom layer edges all put in. And now we're going to uh, change it up just a little bit and we're going to start um, putting in edges and corners. Okay. So um, when I do this, uh, I just want to start with some, some easily recognizable um, color for me. Uh, we are using the, the white here, um, but as we, as we move up, it, it's going to change. So I'm going to use lime green, and I'm going to start with this, uh, uh, this hexagon right here. Now, here's the trick. 
and, and this is my, my entire philosophy of starting the puzzle. What I want to do is insert the edges in the um, corners for everything that's not part of, in this case, a decagon or a, a, a square above where I'm working. So in other words, I want to fill in just the layer that's immediately adjacent to the starting decagon. Okay, and why we do that will be really clear once we get it done. You'll see exactly what it gives us. Okay, so basically I'm only doing an edge and a corner for each one of these as we go around. Okay, so with that in mind, um, let's start here. So this is gold, gold, uh, and um, so what I'm looking for is a, a hexagon uh, to square edge that has gold on one side and lime green on the other. So this is the right color, but that's not. I'm also looking for a for a corner that has gold on the uh, point. And that's really important because that's the easiest way that I have of finding um, the corners. Gold on the point and then I'm looking for white and green as well. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's get this started. Once I find the edge, I'm going to park it on a uh, decagon, and then I'll find the corner. Uh, or if I find the corner first, I'll, I'll park it on the, the, the decagon. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I actually found the corner first. Now, because we're working down here, and we ha we're not working on the decagons above, because we're going to stop before we get to them, that means every decagon above the workspace is free to be used. And that's uh, that's just sort of an important idea. So there's the um, the gold uh, point, the corner with the gold uh, point, and uh, white and lime green. So now I'm going to put it here, and now it's on the decagon, just above the workspace, and that's exactly where I want it. I'm just looking for the edge now. Okay, I'm just looking around for I'm just looking for gold edges. Once I find the gold edge, I'm going to see if it's got lime green on the other side. Um, okay, I got my one thumb on the workspace, and that's just um, just to make sure that to make it easier to go back once I find things. Okay, sometimes you do have to take your your finger off it, but all right. Okay, uh, you know what? It's probably easier for you to see these <laughs> than it is for me. Um, now seriously, if you're if you're sort of standing back, it's probably easier. Okay. Um, okay, that's the. Okay, that's the wrong. There it is, right there. Look at that. It was right at the top because remember that the um, gray and all the surrounding area on the gray face, which is opposite where we started, that's all free to use. Uh, and you don't have to even think about moving stuff around because it's always going to be until the very last instant It's going to be good. So we got to get this way over to the other side, but remember the um, These uh, You know what that's that's wrong and I'm going to tell you why Because what we're looking for is a hexagon square edge, but that is a um, a <laughs> A decagon square edge. So sorry about that. Close, but no, no cigars. What they say? Um, there it is, right there. Look at that. It was <laughs> hiding in plain sight. Okay. So this is the uh, corner which we have to join. So I'm just going to move it out of the way a little bit. And none of this stuff is uh, well. This we care about. So what I'm going to do is turn the target piece. Uh, up. Oh wait, is this? Yeah, there it is right there. So now um, I'm just going to flip it out of the way so that I can turn this piece down. Uh, this this piece that we dislodged. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. This is the uh, uh, corner that we're going to join with it. Now the idea is always to use a, hex, a, a decagon face to join corners to edges. And we'll do that for, for both types of uh, of edges, the decagon edges and the hexagon, these ones are just a little bit easier. We notice that the point of the a corner is pointing that way, but the um, the square part of that edge is pointing that way, which means we got to flip this around. 
Okay, so now they're both pointing in the proper direction. I'm going to turn the, the decagon face and now I've joined those two pieces. Okay. Now the pieces go right here. Uh, this is already done, so I need to move this out of the way. Uh, turn This is the target. Turn it up and then uh, move that back down. Now I've put the edge in to join the previous uh, hex edge. And now we've got our first edge and corner. Now if I if I seem to go through that a little fast, don't worry, you'll see plenty of that uh, as we move along. So there'll be plenty of chances to, uh, to watch that uh, again. That's the whole idea uh, behind the solve. We're always finding an edge, joining a corner to it, and inserting it. And that's really, and we're going to go around the puzzle and just keep doing that over and over and over again. Keeping in mind that, that for this particular layer, we're just doing the, the edges and corners. We're not doing anything that is attached to a decagon above or anything that's attached to a square face above uh, this layer that we're working on. All right, let's just keep going. Now, I like to go uh, left to right. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. I just like it to be consistent because what it means is that as we work, everything on the left is, is, is solved. Everything on the right is not. So if I'm working over here, I know I'm not uh, damaging anything, uh, at least until I can see the, the finished uh, faces starting to come back as we go around. All right, so I'm looking for yellow and... Uh, Oops, sorry. I'm looking for <laughs> silver and green, and I actually saw one. It might not still be there, but I, uh, I think I actually saw one. There it is right there. So that's one that we're looking for. So I could leave it there, or I could just move it over. And I think I've done the same thing here. Yeah, that's a, uh, that is a decagon uh, square edge. There's the one I'm looking for. That's the hex square. So yeah, I... I gotta get uh, uh, gotta get my uh, focus on which uh, face I'm trying to install here. So I'm just gonna leave that here. It's obviously a little easier to move the other ones, but now I need to get its corner, and the corner that I'm looking for has silver on the point, and it's got white and whoops, right over here, silver on the point, white and lime green. So I'm just basically going to look really quickly for corners with silver on the point, and then um, that's white and lime greens right here. So I'm going to move the corner to whatever decagon I can find to move it, and now it's it's right over here, and we'll just move it to this. A decagon which is right above where we're working so it's not going to hurt anything so same question I ask the uh, the the point has uh, is pointing that way and the same the same colored material is also pointing that way which means that we can join them we don't have to flip anything and there we go so we join them so now this uh, uh, composite edge with the edge and corner uh, it goes over here um, we won't hurt anything if we just keep turning this up. So what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to, this, I didn't quite align that properly. What did I do? Yeah, I, I'm good, I'm good. Just didn't align something quite properly here. There we go. So just to go back, so this is, these are the pieces we're replacing. I'll move it up here. Uh, I'll move that up here, and now this, now we've already got some work, no, we're not working on it. It looks soft, but it really isn't, so we don't have to worry about wrecking that. If we did, uh, once we once we turned everything in, then we could just uh, go back and fix up all the, all the ones that we turned, turn them back. So it is possible to uh, do the same maneuver without breaking stuff. So there we go. Uh, edge and corner, edge and corner, and we're, we're just doing the area just below this decking on and just below that, um, that square right there. As a matter of fact, I think I will just, I'm not even going to go up here. I'm just going to keep on going. All right, well, what's the next one? Yellow and silver and 
yellow, silver, and white. So let's uh, let's find it. And I got to remember that I'm looking for hexagon um, square edges, not decagon edges. Okay, yellow and silver. So I'm looking for silver. I think I saw one, but uh, it was a while ago. All right. Okay, so that's no, definitely not it. Okay, so there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. So I'm just going to um, just move it just a little bit closer. Okay, so there it is. And now I'm just going to look around really quickly for a... So I need a, a corner that's got silver on the point and white and yellow. And there it is right there. So pretty, pretty easy to find. Um, okay, and I'm going to just... Move this up here. Now it's on this uh, decagon, and you see the yellow, or the, sorry, the silver is pointing down, and this one's pointing that way. They're both pointing in the same direction, so I can join them up. Now, if you want to test test them out, like it doesn't really matter. Eventually, if if it was wrong, if this was flipped around, um, it would stop, and then the pieces wouldn't be joined. So. Um, and then you just back up a little bit and flip everything around. It's, it's a very, very easy puzzle to solve once you get the hang of it. So this is where um, the pieces go. Now here I've got some work done, so we want to be careful to preserve that, but I'll show you that it's really easy to do that. I'm going to move the pieces I'm uh, replacing up here. Okay, flip them into place, and then undo everything and you'll notice that we didn't hurt any of the work that we've already done and we now have this extra pieces in. That's it. Okay so now we're on a roll. I think uh, I think we get the uh, the idea here. Yellow and I'm looking for uh, orange and our uh, corner is going to be have a, a orange point and uh, white and yellow. So the white really does help I think uh, finding these things and starting with a bright color also helps um, and so hex, so I'm looking for orange with a big yellow there. Is that it? Yes, that's got to be it because it is a hex square edge. So I'm just going to leave it there because that, that's a good spot for it. And I need to find an orange, um, an orange point with white and yellow. Okay, so I'm just looking at orange points. Um... And that's, there it is right there. Oh, okay. So, and then the piece that I was looking for is right there. So I'm going to bring the corner around. Bring it around. I always like to put it on a, on a, whoops, on a hex, a, a decagon. And now, because the orange parts are pointing in the same direction, I can just turn it and join them. Now that I have my piece, i got to figure out how to get it over here. Because we haven't done anything on here, well, except for that, it, I could just do a bunch of turns um, and bring it bring it closer. Um, so I will start that, but I want, I'm going to stop here because we have put that edge in. Uh, it goes here. So now I'm going to turn these pieces up, and now I can put that in. I probably should have left that up above there but it's still okay so now we've joined these pieces together but because this had a piece that we want I gotta put it back okay so it's just a matter of undoing some this the stuff that's already been worked on so this one's done okay time to do the other one orange and I don't even know what color that is purple um, orange and purple so okay We'll find it. Okay, that's not it because it's on a, a decagon. Okay, you've probably seen it go by a couple of times, haven't you? <laughs> uh, easy to see when you're kind of standing watching. Okay. And of course it could be could be right nearby as well. Okay, I remember that that's my working area. I'm looking all around. 
Okay, I, I got uh, spoiled a little bit by finding the easy ones. That's it. That's it right there. It's like, it's like, like not even four centimeters away, three centimeters away, right there. Okay. Um, so um, now I'm looking for um, orange uh, point with white and purple. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. So I'm just looking at it. Every time I see an orange point, I ask myself, does it have white and purple on it? It's not even, <laughs> not even close. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. That's the piece I'm looking for. Now, i got to be careful. I can't turn this uh, without uh, breaking some stuff. So, so this is the piece... We want to move it way over here. So this is where our super highway of uh, decagons come in. So there's the, there's the piece. And I'm going to move it up uh, towards the, uh, the gray and then move it as close. There's the piece. Okay, get it as close as I can. Okay, so now it's on that deck again. Um, there's the piece that uh, it's going towards. So I'm getting... Okay. So there's the piece we're going to join it. Um, there's the corner. And they're both pointing in the same direction. So I'm just going to move this and join them up. I know this is safe because everything above the layer we're working on is always safe. And um, as we go through it, you'll see that, that this idea of only doing everything below the cert the, uh, the start of a new uh, face, uh, that's why it works. Okay, so I'm moving the, um, the target pieces up that we're replacing, move our uh, assembled edge and corner in, and there we go. I'm making some progress here. Okay, so purple and lime green. Well, lime green is another one that's really easy to find. As a matter of fact, that's the corner that goes there. Uh, lime green, uh, white, and purple. Lime green point. So now I need to find a hex square edge that has lime green on it. Oh, there it is right there. Now, I'm calling this purple, but I see there's another purple there. So, I don't know, this is the violet? I, I think I must have missed that uh, that day in math class where we learned all the uh, the colors, I guess. So this is the piece I want. Um, it's not really in a very convenient spot, so let's just, uh, I'm just going to move it out here. I'm going to move this up, flip it out of the way, and I'm going to turn this back. Now I, I want I want to save this hexagon because it uh, does have a piece we're concerned about. That's the, the piece I'm uh, joining. This is the uh, corner and the green is pointing in the same direction. Now it's funny, I haven't had to show you one, I think maybe once where I flipped it over, maybe I haven't even yet. You do have to flip them over sometimes. I'm just getting really lucky today. So that's where it goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these target pieces all the way up here and then undo everything. That's probably the, the safest bet at this point. Because there we go, there's the target pieces coming back and put it in and didn't hurt any of our edge pieces. Okay. Um, one of the things about this puzzle is because pretty much this is what you're doing the whole time, it's very easy to stop and start and uh, figure out where you're at in the solve. That's one of the things I like about it. Lime green and a, this is kind of a reddish orange. Let's call it orange, shall we? So I'm looking for a lime green hex uh, square edge. And then uh, lime green, white, and orange. That should be pretty easy to, to find. Now, you may have noticed that I only have a, a limited color palette of the uh, square faces. Uh, I believe there's uh, there, were, there were 30 square faces. I only had um, 10 colors. So I got three, three sets of them, basically. Um, so I have three of each color. But it on this puzzle, as you can see, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's the contrast between the colors that's the important thing. Uh, there's the, oh, look at that, already done for us. So we have the lime green and the 
corner already assembled. Now, one of the things about the way this puzzle works is the closer you get to the top, the more of these you'll find already assembled because they kind of go back. <laughs> um, and uh, as, the, as the number of unsolved pieces dwindle, so, uh, but it is not unusual to find one that's either never got broken up or more likely just um, was uh, put back together by previous efforts. Now, I said that it was good, but I didn't check really hard. I was just too eager. <laughs> so we have a corner there, but it's the wrong corner. Um, we don't want that one uh, at this point. It doesn't help us to have it there. We want the other corner. So I, just, I still have work to do. All right. Well, I was a little over eager. And also, I just noticed I turned that. So just, yeah. Wow. That was okay. Hey, you know what? This is a full solve. And if I make mistakes, you're going to see them. Um, because otherwise, uh, you know, you'll think I, uh, I do these without making any mistakes, which is far, far from reality. Okay, what am I even looking for? It's uh, lime green, white. Okay, so I'm looking for lime green, white. There it is. That's the piece we're looking for right there. Okay, it's way over here. I'm probably covering it with my hand sometimes. Um, now, in this case... If, if I, I could join it that way, we would knock this piece out. But that's actually not a bad deal. And I'll show you why. So we do want this piece. I'm going to turn this to join it up. And you'll see what happens here. So now we have the pieces joined. But I want to bring this back um, to, to put the, the edge back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around. Now, we're going to knock that piece out, and I'm going to show you when I put everything back why it didn't matter about knocking that piece out. So now we have this uh, edge that we wanted. I'm going to put this back so everything's still good, and I'm going to flip this, these pieces back. Now notice the piece we knocked out was here, but we don't care about that piece because we're only solving the two, the two pieces on this layer around here, and that's exactly why we're not solving that piece right now is so that give us more freedom to f um, manipulate the uh, other corners and the other edges that we are working on. Okay, so this this all sort of you know there's there's a reason to do it that way. All right, looking for pink and orange, pink and orange here. Okay, that that's the the right colors but the wrong. Uh, piece type. Okay, there's the right piece type. And it's kind of in a in an awkward spot because we've we've already done a lot of work over here. So what I think I'll do is I'm I'm gonna uh, move move that piece uh, more over to here and these uh, hex uh, square edges are the one piece type that the only way to move them is this kind of eh, it's not too bad but it's it's a bit slow compared to the putting it on a decagon um, but yeah so so all I did was I just moved it around the top of the uh, above the the area that we're working on okay so there's the there's the piece we're looking for and I need pink white and this kind of orangey color so I'm looking for a pink point on the uh, on a piece pink, orange, and white. So there it is right there. I'll move it a little closer. There's the piece. Uh, move it onto this uh, decagon. Now here's one where the pink is pointing that way on that piece and that way on the other. So I gotta, I gotta flip one of them around and the easiest one to flip around is the is this piece right here. So now it's joined. If I was to just turn turn this in um, it would put these pieces in, but it would knock some of these out. So what I want going to do, I'm going to hide this away, hide these pieces away up here. Then I'm going to turn the uh, target uh, position up, put the pieces in. It's joined everything, and then turn it back down. Okay, that's uh, that's done, and you can see now uh, the the work that we've done already is starting to come. 
uh, back and we only have just a little bit uh, to do so that'll be the first uh, major step in the puzzle completed so I'm looking for pink and there's kind of this mid blue here and then pink uh, white and mid blue there's the there's the edge piece that we need that was quick and it's again it, it's it, because we're getting fewer pieces uh, there are fewer unscrambled pieces and as we go up it sort of going to go like that so there's the edge that I'm looking for I'll just I'll put it right here you maybe notice a pattern that I kind of like to to put those just above the workspace and now I'm looking for a corner that has pink on the point and white and mid blue and look at that there it is right there okay so now it's on the adjacent uh, decagon to the piece I was working on there it is I will move the target position up move our assembled edge and corner in whoa all right I'm getting a little over eager here there you go and that one's done and last but not least for this layer we have uh, gold and mid blue there it is and I need uh, gold mid blue and white so that's the piece I'm looking for for the edges right there and now Okay, gold. That's gold, mint, blue, and yellow. Now, this is the thing about uh, the colors on this puzzle. You really need a good color palette. Uh, and uh, I, I don't remember quite what the factory colors were, but uh, I know that Very Puzzles up their game a lot recently um, with colors, with uh, their sticker sets and it's much appreciated but this is from a little while ago that's the piece I'm looking for so um, I think I just went and got a uh, I got a third party uh, sticker right away I don't remember ever stickering well I would never sticker a big puzzle like this uh, with uh, and then re-sticker it okay whoops okay I, <laughs> I uh, turn that so this is the uh, this is the target uh, sorry yeah this is the piece we're joining this is the target here but they're pointing in the wrong direction, so it's all right. I can flip it around. Now I join them, and we're going to use the same technique I used over here. I'll flip the composite edge out of the way, and I'll move the target up. Okay, so if you're a little too close to the target, that, that can happen. Um, and there you go. Well, look at that. That is a major uh, step. In solving the uh, truncated icosidodecahedron, we have all of the edges and corners of this what I call the first layer, and now maybe it's clear what what I was doing is that none of the pieces on this face have been um, solved, which means that face is free to be used. None of the pieces on that face have been solved, which means that's free to use. In other words, every um, every face above the working layer is free to be used and that's exactly what we're going to do as we move up uh, the puzzle we're going to we're going to take bits um, we're going to solve bits of it but we're going to leave all of the circles uh, above it uh, free uh, as much as possible all right so i think this would be a good time for a break and um and we're back with the solve of the truncated icosidodecahedron. At this point, we've got the first layer completely solved, and now it's time to expand out and start solving the next layer. Um, so I, I kind of like uh, having this uh, green, lime green uh, hexagon here. It gives me a nice strong uh, visual uh, idea of where, where we are. So the strategy for this layer is to um, solve solve the bottom part of the uh, upper square faces and to solve everything in between on this bottom part of the uh, the adjacent decagon now that means that this this decagon is not completely out of play because we can still use the top edge of it um, but we are going to start filling it in so what this strategy does is it leaves these uh, these hexagons above and then everything above uh, it leaves them uh, free to use 
Okay, so um, the first step then is very similar to the um, starting phase. We're going to put in a, a set of edges, but really it'll just be um, the square decagon edge first. Okay. And then we'll we'll kind of uh, move move out from there. Okay, there's probably a, a bunch of different ways to do this, but uh, I'm just going to show you a a way, and you can maybe uh, refine the technique. So we need a, a blue silver, and I just I see it up here. So this is a pretty easy uh, first step. So now we have that edge in, and now I'm going to put uh, this edge and corner in. Okay. And we're going to kind of work that way. Okay, so this edge and corner, that edge, and that edge and corner, and so on. Right? So uh, let's take a look here. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that one until we get around, I guess. Um, so I'm looking for a yellow-blue and yellow-blue edge, which is maybe there it is right there. Yellow-blue. And I'm looking for a corner that has silver on the point and blue yellow. So silver on the point and blue yellow. Okay, a couple that have silver on the point but don't have blue yellow. All right. Okay, we look around on the other side here. Um, <laughs> okay. okay, silver on the point and blue lime green. So that's the that's the other corner that we we skipped over that we said we'd do last. All right, it's okay, it's okay. We got this. Uh, did I look over here? Um, hmm, silver on the blue yellow. Nope, not it yet. Okay, blue green. Okay, of course it it helps if you know which actual. Yeah, it's blue blue and blue and yellow. Yes, blue and yellow. That's fine. There it is. Blue. Is that the one? And now this could this is probably it because I doubt I have a blue and a yellow combo. Uh, you never know. It depends on on how the the uh, puzzle stickered. Um, okay, so where did I put that uh, piece that I was looking for? It's right up here, which means the target piece I want it on the same hexagon, uh, same decagon. Sorry, geez. So when when we're doing um, edges that belong to a, a a decagon, so this one, uh, we want uh, to to join the corner. We want them both on the same decagon. Once they're both on the same decagon, it's actually fairly easy to join them. So I see yellow and blue here. So we want yellow and blue. So that means it goes to the left. So it's actually in the right position. So now things. Um, I'm going to show you the joining technique for the decagon hexagon edges. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this piece right where it belongs. Okay. Now, of course, it knocked out the piece we're joining. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this piece away uh, on the adjacent uh, square face and then bring back the piece we're joining and then undo that setup move and look at that, they joined. And that this is what I love about this puzzle. It is so easy to move stuff around. So this is the target where we're, uh, we want to join, or so we want to put the pieces we just joined. So I'm going to move it up right here, and then I'm going to turn this hex, hex face down. And because we're working above our workspace, uh, we, we don't have to worry about uh, fixing anything, because those pieces we, we intended to uh, work above it, and all the pieces we've already solved are below. And that's it. You'll see that we did quite a bit here, right? And for now, I'm just going to leave leave these pieces, and that'll be kind of the next step. Um, so let's just uh, just keep going over here. 
So uh, first one is going to be the, the lowest one. That's going to be the red and orange, which I see over here. So I'm going to turn the target up just below it. Turn this down. That's the target. I'll turn it back and there you go. It's in place. So now I need a yellow red uh, edge. And so I'll look around for that. It's a yellow red. Okay, yellow red. Square, kind of a, it's a hexagon, uh, decagon edge. Yellow red. Okay, I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Okay. There it is right there. Now, <laughs> it is completely on the opposite side across all the work we've already done. Because this is the white, and we know white that should uh, remind, that reminds me that we've already worked on this. So this, basically we want to go over the other face. So the, the strategy here is always to bring it up to, uh, to just go towards the gray face. Because it's always safe to move it towards the gray face. And now I can move it over and get it above the work area. So let's see, uh, it's over here, okay, there we go, and I'll just bring it down just a little closer to where I was working, and there we go, super highway, and there's the, the uh, edge that I want, and that edge goes uh, right there, so, so that's a good spot for it, and now I just need to find um, the corner which has orange as the uh, point and then uh, red and yellow so I'm going to look for an orange point and then orange ooh red and purple uh, that was close uh, let's see orange no that's not it there it is orange point red and yellow so I'm going to move it closer to the uh, piece I was working on As always, I'm going to try and get them, well, I will get them, both on the same decagon. Now that they're on the same decagon, I figure out what I have to do to join them. Now, this yellow and red, yellow and red, it means it's over here. So I have to move this piece uh, to, to this position. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, and I'll just show you one. I just move the piece that I'm looking for, flip the uh, face that it's on, and then move it back. Okay, move that back, and now flip this around, and now they're joined. There's a couple other ways you can do it. You can, you can move this piece out of the way, and then move the piece in, but then you still have to do the flipping uh, of this, so it doesn't really save anything to, to uh, move that out of the way first. That piece we're working on goes here, so I'm gonna move the, the target up top, move the pieces in, and you, you always know that you have it because you're always joining it to something. So you'll see that you've, you've joined it and now that one's done. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna fill this in and we'll, we'll come back and do these bottom, this, this chunk as another step. I think that's probably a better way to, to uh, show it. Uh, okay. So we're looking for a red purple. I think I found a red purple. There it is. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. So there's my red purple. And now I'm looking for um, orange, um, an orange point with a red and purple on it. Okay, so orange point with red and purple. Look at that. So this, because it's red and top and purple here, this corner goes over here. So we'll do the same thing we did before. Uh, move the corner in, flip the face around, bring back the edge, and then undo that. And look at that. So, oop, okay, what did I, okay, so that's correct. I was just uh, concerned that we, I might have been moving a, a previously worked piece, and there we go, we put that in, and we still have access to this uh, Square face if we need it. All right, what's next? Um, it's gonna be 
Um, okay, so the bottom face. So you can sort of see here that if you wanted to, you could go around and you could put all the these um, uh, Decagon square face edges in. Um, then you could build those. It, you could go around and then come back. I'm just doing it kind of all in one chunk. I'm putting that in and then doing the two adjacent uh, hex deck edge edges. So yeah, there's there's a quite a bit of flexibility in the way you solve this, and you know part of the fun is just trying different ways. I think. So I'm looking for a big orange, um, lime green, orange. <laughs> How about green? Green and lime green. I don't know why I do that. Okay, so there's the piece I'm looking for. And uh, because nothing on this has been done yet, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the, the edge and then just turn it down. Because this is the first piece that's going in there. Why not? So now I'm looking for green purple. Uh, a small square edge green purple. Okay, there it is right there, and that's well away from where we've been working, so there we go. Okay, I'm going to bring that green, wait, what did I just do? Did, did I actually, uh, I, I might have gotten confused here. That looks like green blue. What am I looking for? That's not it. Okay, well, you know, happens to the best of us. Okay, so I, I think I'm looking for a. I don't think that's the purple we're looking for here. All right, let's try again. Um, yeah, it happens. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, so I always like to try and keep the uh, uh, gray, uh, the finishing face up near the top as much as possible, just because that's my orientation for the puzzle, and I know everything above is safe, and everything below is is work we've already done that we, we don't want to ruin. Uh, okay. Yeah, green purple. All right. All right. Green. Okay, I probably passed over it a couple of times now, and I've got everyone watching saying, You missed it, you missed it. But I'll find it. That's not it. Okay, so while I'm looking, and since I'm having a hard time uh, finding this. Uh, this edge here. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to start looking for the orange purple. Actually, there it is right there. So one of the uh, strategies I, I uh, use when I'm um, kind of stuck like this is just look for another piece. And eventually, um, you know, when you go back to it, you'll you'll find the the other piece. So it, it's not a big deal. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and do these pieces, and it'll be fine. There's no problem now we know this is safe because we it's to the uh, right of the work area but I'm just moving this up just just away from the work area just a little bit um, so now it's up here and, and we're working down here so now what I need to do is find a, a lime green and uh, yeah lime green green and orange well, that should be I hope that's pretty easy to find lime green point is the the takeaway from that lime green point There we go, and that's the piece I'm looking for. I'm bringing it down, and all I have to do is get that uh, corner on the same decagon as the the piece that I'm joining. And now we have green on top. What? 
Oh, what did I do? Am I doing this again? Uh, did I? Okay, am I? I let's see here. I brought it over here. Oh, okay. Is that it? Okay. Right. Uh, scratch that. I didn't find the piece I was looking for. Okay. Green <laughs> and orange. I got the po I got the point. I got the corner. I think I grabbed the wrong piece there. I'm just having my uh, so green. Yeah. Okay. So it's either purple, purple and and green, or green and and this kind of this reddish orange. Let's try the green and the reddish orange. I can't believe I'm. Uh, I think that's the purple and green I was looking for. Anyway, <laughs> uh, purple. I know green, not purple. Green, green and reddish orange. Okay, I can I can find this. I'm. I'm I think that's the one. Looks like a, yeah, I think that's the one right there. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll just go with that. And there's the, there's the uh, piece, the adjacent piece. And I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to move everything to. There it is. Okay, well... Um, just to recap here, I got completely <clears throat> lost on what pieces. I couldn't find the one piece, and then I think I got lost on the other piece. <clears throat> Happens the best of us. These are the two pieces I need. I'm going to bring them a little closer to the work area here. And uh, let's see, this one has to go on that side. So I'm just going to do the, do the usual maneuver. That's the piece I'm joining bring back the edge and bring it back okay so those are joined up and I can bring the um, target slot up here turn it in and we got those pieces okay so all right back on track now uh, I was looking for the green and the purple I thought I saw it as after I gave up on it um, I think I got confused by the two colors I was looking for and as I said you know when you're working on a big puzzle like this um, it's really not hard to, to lose your focus there's the um, there's the target uh, piece that I was looking for a little uh, just sort of hard to see so yeah it's uh, you know it's, it's no big deal and it's part of the game right really it's, it's, um, it's you versus the puzzle, so you're not going to let a big hunk of plastic uh, beat you, right? So this is purple green, but we are looking for a lime green tip. Oh, there it is right there. Well, this is starting to go my way again. So we've got green on top, purple on the bottom, which means it's going to be over here. So I'm just going to move the, the corner to where it belongs, hide it out of the way, bring back the piece we're going to join and there we go so back on track and uh, now at the um, we could join it over here but I, it, because the targets over this way I'm just going to move it a little closer and there's the target slot we'll move it in and we'll move it back okay so there you go and yeah perfect perfect edge so we're just going to skip over these ones and move on to this next bit uh, again. So I'm looking for a large purple edge with a green. 
green. That's pink. That's pink, man. Green. <laughs> right. I don't know. I get myself tested, I guess. That's uh, probably it. Uh, let's see. Pink. Uh, so, pink with, with a big purple. I mean, that should be, that should stand out like, like, it really should. But, Well, again, I'm probably, let's see here, I might be just, sometimes they get, like, they're right on the edges of the working area, and it's a little harder to kind of pick them out. Pink with purple. Just... There it is right there. So, just move it along. And because this is a hexagon edge, it's a lot quicker to move. Move it along here. Uh, did I say hexagon? Hexagon? Decagon edge? Uh, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this puzzle solving business one of these days. <laughs> All right. There we go. And this is the first one we've done on a purple face. So, it gets to uh, take a ride, and that's how it's going to stay. So, done it now. Um, and so I'm looking for uh, purple as burnt orange here, reddish orange, or I'll take the blue as well. But uh, mainly I'm looking for, for one of those purple and then some other color. So I'll look around uh, for those pieces. I'm going to fill in the, the little gaps here. Okay, I don't think that's the color. No. Purple, but it's not the right purple. Okay, that could be it. Right over here could be... Um, now, sometimes, unfortunately, just got to move it a little closer to your face to, to see if it's got the right shades because the we are dealing with a it's a good palette but it is still a limited palette and once I get a little closer it's easier to see and I'm pretty sure yeah that actually I'm still not sure that that's right oh wow okay well Nice thing about this is I can actually bring it right up and now it, it should be pretty obvious that it's not the right color. Okay. So, but it, it's close and you know, I wish this sort of thing didn't happen, but again, there, there's only so many colors that, that stickers come in. Uh, this is a pretty good palette and the number of times that happens is pretty rare. Okay, so I see that the right color is right here. Yeah, I actually can see it. And it's actually pretty obvious now. Um, that's the that's the right color. Okay, so this is right above uh, where it goes. It's gonna go in right here. And now I need to find. Um, so it's pink on the on the uh, point, and so pink and purple and orange. So pink and purple and orange. Wrong color, purple. Yeah, so this is this is the whole game, um, and this is, this is how we do it. Um, okay, I'm gonna lose.
lose lose track of where I am here. Okay, okay, pink. That could be it right there. Again, it's it's kind of hard to tell, but there's no no real harm in just moving it closer towards the the target. Okay, so the piece I'm moving is right there, and we'll see in a moment. Uh, now, I gotta figure out where I where I put that the uh, piece I'd identified. Uh, oh, there it is, right there. Okay, good. Now, if this had been on the other side, we could have just turned it right in. As a matter of fact, we can do that. So now I've moved it to this other uh, decagon. Oh no, I guess, yeah. Uh, no, that's not going to help at all. Um, okay, now. Okay, so, so it's in the right... So this is a piece we're looking for. It's got to join up here now. I've kind of gotten a little close to the work area, um, but that's okay. It'll, it, it's, we're not going to hurt anything. And sometimes just matching them up is, is the best way to tell. And indeed, that is the correct one. So now this goes here. But in order to move the, work, the uh, target up, uh, I'm going to have to move these out of the way. And that's pretty easy to do. Okay, and then I move it right down. And as always, when we're doing these things, we're, we're joining something. So you, you should find them join. And if they don't, then something's wrong. Okay, well, that was that seemed to take a lot longer than it should. But, you know, it, it happens. Sometimes you have a hard time finding the pieces. Um, usually it's not that difficult. And as we get further into the puzzle, it gets easier and easier to find pieces because there are fewer unscrambled pieces left. So let's see, we need purple and then sort of this mid-blue and then a pink, purple, and blue. So let's just be on the lookout for that. Um, okay, I may have even seen it somewhere as I was uh, going along here. Okay. Okay, there's the there's the purple uh, for sure the purple and blue so I'm just moving it up towards the towards the gray face it's always the safest option use the gray face to move it right above the workspace and the workspace is over here so there we go Okay, and I, I think this, uh, oop, this, this decagon right here is good. Okay, so there's there's the one uh, part of it, and now I need to find a pink uh, with uh, blue and purple. That's the wrong blue and purple. Good, good try, though. There's, there's the piece I'm looking for, and we're still in a safe zone over here, so I'll just bring this up. Okay, and now it's up here, and i got to move it towards... towards the work area. And I'm pretty sure I put that Oh, there it is. Okay, I put it on the orange. I guess I should try and remember that. <laughs> put it on the orange. Okay, so or, uh, purple on top, blue on the bottom, which means it's on that side. So I'm just going to move the uh, target corner until it's in place, hide it away, bring back the edge, 
that we're joining to. And there we go, we have them joined. And because they're up above the workspace, and it's a little better to do it that way, I didn't have to hide them away before I put them in there. All right, we are uh, moving along here in spite of everything. And you see the lime green, which is where we started. We started to the right of the lime green. We're coming around, so we're almost almost done this one step. And as you say, it gets easier as we go along. So now this is gold, gold and yellow. So I think that should be fairly easy to find. Can't be too many of those big pieces. There it is right there. Now, there we go. And I think um, just I'm just gonna leave it. Oh no, I have to put it on the on the face there. So all right, just, we haven't done any work on this so far, so I can just go ahead and uh, and put it in there. All right. Um, so now we're gonna do a yellow. This kind of this yellow and mid blue, and. Uh, Okay, yellow and mid blue, and I'm hoping that yellow will will stand out. Okay. okay, it's yellow and purple. That wasn't it. Okay, there it is over there. see where where are we putting at we're putting it here so I think this this spots pretty good so and I'm looking for um, yellow mid blue with a gold uh, point so those gold ones should stand out maybe maybe not gold point uh, okay I think it would be easy, but not it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, probably passed it by a couple times by now. There we go. There it is. Okay, it's always in the last place you look. Okay, now this looks like I've actually joined them, but I haven't. I'm pretty sure that that's the wrong piece that we're joining. It it is a, a piece that belongs here, but it's not the the piece we're working on now. Uh, so where did I put that anyway? Um, okay, just gotta. Okay, so there it is right here. Uh, no, not it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so the there's the target piece right there. I'll bring this down. So you know, being organized about where you're putting pieces, where you're assembling stuff. That's, I think you can see that that's a big chunk of it. Now this is going to be a pretty big uh, setup move for this piece. But it's okay. Um, blue on top, uh, which means it goes, or sorry, blue out here. So it's going to go there. So I'm just going to put my thumb here and move this until the target piece is there. Now I can flip this out of the way and move it back until the edge is there. And now we found our, our pieces here. All right. So there's the there's that edge and corner inserted and the last one on this well the second last one on this little step that we're doing here we got two more to do on the lime green and then everything else is done. 
So uh, this is going to have a gold uh, point on it, and so it's yellow and lime green. I'm hoping this is going to get a little easier to find these pieces. Um, yellow and lime green. That should stand out. It should really be kind of very, very vivid. Uh, okay, I'm just looking around here make sure it's not right, right there. Okay, there's, there it is. Okay, just going to bring it just a little closer to uh, the, the target. And now I'm looking for something with gold and yellow and lime green. Okay, this, this should be real easy. A famous last words, I think. There's gold, that's not it. That's gold, that's not it. There we go. That's that's the piece right there that I'm looking for. Um, the corner's over here. And where did I stash that? And there's the, the target edge. So I just move everything. I'm just moving the, the corner over. And I want to put it on the, the deck had gone that the edge is on. Okay, there it is. And so yellow on the top, so this will go there. And I'm just going to put it in place. Hide it away. Bring the edge back. And join them. Okay, real quick. Bring this around. Okay. Well, cooking with gas here, as they say. Um, so now we need lime green and blue, and then lime green, blue, and a silver tip. So, silver point. Um, actually, there's the there's the corner we're looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it up here. That's great. So that was quick, and hopefully we'll just find that other that other edge really quickly that's the wrong color blue and I think that's the one I'm looking for it's right over here okay and again it's all above the work area That's the that's the edge. Uh, that's the corner. That's the edge. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, look at that. They just happened to just line up, so they were they joined together. I didn't really intend to do that. I was just getting that out of the way. But another way would have been to move it. So well, that's uh, that's very convenient. I'm just gonna get this a little closer here. And there we go. Okay, so what have we done? We've managed to fill in sort of another layer around. And now our next step is going to be to fill in the edges and, and corners and bottom part of all of the square faces around, leaving these circles. Okay, so um, might as well just jump right into that. I think it's probably a good, good way to uh, just kind of press on here. So we're looking for a red and lime green, which is here. Now, remember, we're looking for hex square edges, not um, not uh, pent, uh, not decagon square edges. So there's the one I'm looking for. And the one, the vertical ones that we install first are just the edge. We don't put a corner on them. Um, it just makes it uh, makes it easier to. To solve. So now we have that, and now I'm looking for an edge in a corner and an edge in a corner. Okay. Uh, you can see that even though this color matches, this lime green doesn't doesn't match any of these. So it's probably 
uh, another face somewhere else because uh, I do have some duplicates. Actually, I can see it. It's that one. All right, so I'm looking for a yellow, and it's a kind of a burgundy. Uh, I think that's the one right there. So because we haven't done anything on this yet, uh, it is safe, even though we got some stuff here, as long as we're careful, I can bring the target position over to where the piece is and then move the piece in and bring everything back. We haven't heard anything. We got the right piece in. Now, the problem here is that we have to attach that edge uh, or that corner to the edge. So we're going to have to move this little section out, uh, but that's okay. It's, it's not difficult to do that. What I'm looking for is a burgundy yellow green, but it's got a burgundy point on it. I call it burgundy. I don't know. I don't know what, what burgundy actually looks like. Uh, burgundy yellow green. Okay, I've seen burgundy and green and burgundy and yellow, but I have not seen burgundy yellow green yet. Not it. Okay, so I, I was sort of mentioning this before, there is a phenomenon where when when the target you're looking for gets really close to the work you've already done, it's a little harder to see. At least I find that. Uh, that's not it. Burgundy, yellow, green. Okay, so that's my target. Now I've I've let I had to let go of the uh, the place I was working, but it, it's over on the other side. So you know what? This is just going to take the express highway. Uh, there it is. So we got the uh, the target uh, corners up here. The target edge is down here. I'm going to just flip it around so now it's on uh, the face above. So this is what we're going to replace. So I'm just going to move this up over here and get it on onto this lime green face. It's the same face we've been um, doing all the other work on. Now. You could just leave this if you're really well organized and, and you know don't uh, you, you're sure you're not going to turn this accident. You could just leave it, or you could just turn it back um, because that way then all the stuff we've already worked on is is lower. Okay, so that's what I just did. So this is the uh, target. Um, the edge is is over here somewhere, right? Yeah, yellow, yellow, yeah, yellow, yeah, okay, um, so I have to uh, join this, this is the, I don't know if you can see this here, so the burgundy is at the bottom and the yellow is on top, so I'm pretty sure that it's going to go right here. So let's just go ahead and see how that works. Okay, so that's the piece. But now I have to hide this away. So I'm just going to turn this hex edge down. That's a little new new one. I don't think we've used that technique very much. But it works exactly the same way. All right, there you go. So I join those pieces. And if you'll I remember, it went over there. So I'm going to turn the target up, join them together, and go back. And now we've got our first... Uh, first real uh, crack at that, this type of thing. So you see we're filling it in and now we're going to fill in this part and it really does get easier and easier as we uh, move from here. So I need burgundy and blue. Uh, sort of a mid blue. That could be it. I'm not 100% sure. Now this looks like it's solved, but it's really not. 
uh, but then this part is. So I'm going to move this up a little bit and move this piece out of the way and then move everything back. I don't want to have any, any problems. So this is the one. I'm not 100% sure that it's the one we're looking for, but let's just get it a little closer to the working space and see if it's the right, uh, the right blue. Okay. Um, looking at it, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it does look like the right blue. Okay, so with that in mind, I now have this uh, the piece. It's it's right above where it belongs, and now I need to find a burgundy, lime green, and blue. And well, look at that. It's right there. Oh, that could not have been uh, better. So because that piece goes on that side, uh, I'm just going to hide the corner off to the side here, move the piece in, and bring the corner back, and now we have it, we have it done. Um, and now I have to get, have to get it onto this face here. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna bring it over here, and now I just bring this piece up. And just coincidentally, it's gonna solve that, though we're not ready for that yet. But there we go, um, another one done. Okay, this is at first this is a very daunting puzzle and it seems like it's going to take forever, but it's actually not that um, hard once it gets going. And, and once you start building it, it goes very quickly as we spiral up. Okay, well, so we got a yellow and this is kind of a purple. That should be pretty visible. bright yellow color. There it is right there. Just want to be careful I'm not uh, wrecking anything. Now, yeah, for these uh, these uh, hex uh, square edges, you, you sort of have to use the long way around here. And actually, you'll notice I've got two yellows and purples here. So actually, <laughs> I think I was moving the wrong one. So, but now I found the right one. So that's all good. It's all good. It's all good. There you go. I just pretend I did that on purpose. So yeah, so that's a, a paler yellow and it's un unfortunate that my color scheme worked out that way, but you know, these, these things do happen. You have to be careful about that. Um, by the way, if I actually did put that in um, accidentally, what would happen is on the last layer, I wouldn't be able to solve my, my edges. And that's your sign that you've got something like that where you have a, the wrong pieces. Uh, you know, it looks like the same color, so that you'd have to go around and, and look really, really carefully. Anyway, so we're that's all we need to do is put the vertical uh, piece on that square face, and then we'll do the two side uh, side uh, sections. So I have blue uh, with purple, a mid blue with purple. So I'm looking for purple uh, with the mid blue attached, uh, and. Okay, look look close to home here. Purple, purple. Okay, that's sort of sort of it. Um, yeah, there, there's all right. It's all part of the game. This reminds me a little bit about looking for a particular piece if you're doing a jigsaw puzzle, right? It's just you have to look and look and look, and and then someone comes along who's not even solving the the puzzle, and then they say, "Oh, it's right here." Okay, so there's a purple and mid blue, and now I got a. F it's on the. Uh... It's uh, yeah. Okay, let 
let's see here. Is it? Is it the right blue? Yeah, it looks like. Yep. Okay, so it's on the gray. We'll uh, we'll bring it down here. And it's just a little closer, but yeah, I, I can see it now. It's it's the right one. Okay, so what am I looking for for the corner? It's going to be uh, purple and uh, mid blue and yellow. Purple purple point, mid blue and yellow. So I'm looking for a purple point corner with a purple point, mid blue and and then mid blue and yellow. Mid blue and yellow. There it is. All right. And of course, whenever I see a chunk that's already kind of assembled, it makes you wonder what's happened, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So that's the one I'm looking for. The blue's on top, which means it goes right there. So I'm just going to hold my thumb there, bring the uh, piece down, hide that away. What happened there? All right, let's just try this again. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this actually goes on that side. That's what went wrong. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's on that side. I'm going to hide it away. Bring back the piece. And then unhide it. Very good. Okay, and now I can put the target position up and bring it down, and that's all done. All right, so red, purple. Okay, there it is right there. Very good, easy enough. And I'm looking for a purple uh, point with red and yellow on it. So Hopefully that'll stand out as well. Purple with red and yellow. Purple with red and pink. No. Uh, purple with purple and yellow. <laughs> okay. 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 I don't want. I don't want to lose track of where I where I am here. Purple with purple and yellow. No, I already saw that one. Oh no. Alright, sorry, sorry. Uh, purple is red and yellow. Right on right on the gray face there. Okay, so that's the that's the corner that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go back to the target. Uh, which is uh, uh, where are we? There we go, way over here, and found, and there's the edge. Okay, now everything's everything's good. I've got the edge and the corner on the same uh, on the same deck of gone. Uh, what am I going to do? This has to be the the purple part has to be attached to that and since it's pointing that way it means it goes there so I'm just going to put my thumb on it bring it there hide it away and bring that back and bring it back so that that's all done and now I'm going to be able to put it over here now to make it easier I'm just going to move it over so that it's above uh, the, the decagon that has the, the slot oh, look at that Done. Okay. And this one, this is going to be yellow and this kind of purpley color, and I see it right there. So that's moving a little faster now. And I think this is this is all part of part of it. It does pick up steam as you get uh, get going. Uh, red and yellow. Um, Looking for a nice red and yellow. Should be very bright, should stick out. 
That could be it, but is it, it's red? No, that's a, uh, a we're looking for a decagon edge, not a hexagon edge. I think that's probably it right there. Let's uh, get reoriented. Is totally the wrong one. It's yellow <laughs> with red. Oh my. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. I. I so this is actually not. Uh, I could put it in there, but I, I don't really need it in there. I just need it up, up top here. So I just move this stack on. We got to be careful because we are working on these ones now. So now hopefully this will be a little easier to. To find, we need uh, red, purple, with a yellow point. The yellow point should stand out. Uh, hoping, anyway. There it is, right, right here, way on the other side of the puzzle. So there's the there's the piece we found. Okay, there's the other one. Okay, just getting organized here. Now, you know, this is the edge. This is the corner, and because it's on that hexagon, I can actually just turn it, and that hexagon wasn't being uh, worked on, so. That's uh, that made it pretty easy, and uh, we're gonna put that right here. Okay, and so that's another one done. Well, where are we here? So now I have uh, green and yellow, and it's a hex. It's a decagon edge. So try to. Try to make that search kind of more efficient. Is it is it a lime green? No, it's not a lime green. Oop, okay, I don't want to. like to look around the the edges of, of the work area because that's look really closely You've seen it already. Raise your hand. You've probably seen it already. It's probably probably everyone's going. It's right there. Um, yeah, green and yellow. Oh, yeah, so it was green and yellow. Green and yellow. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like again. Oh my! It, it happens. It happens. Okay, so green and yellow. Uh, I'm looking for a yellow uh, point. It has uh, green, yellow, and purple. Hopefully that'll go a little faster. Yipes. Okay. Yellow point. There it is. Wait. Yeah, green and green and purple, right? Okay, now I gotta be careful because this has, this yellow face has some stuff on it, so I'm just gonna just use a, 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 a higher. Okay, so this, 
this yellow and that yellow have to join. Um, and the green. So it's going to be over here. So I'm going to turn this until the piece is right there, hide it away, and bring back our, our piece. Alright, well that was... <laughs> okay. So we got it here. It's going over here, so I'm going to move it above the decagon where the slot is, move it into the slot, and done. So, what's next? Um, yeah, just, just going, look at that, we got one that's already solved for us, so that helps. You know, we'll take it at this point, when we first start, we're eager, we want to solve everything, want to split everything up now, hey, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to have one that's sort of partially solved for me. I'm um, looking for green and blue here. Um, I haven't been, that could be it right there. Yeah, I haven't been having a lot of luck finding stuff right away lately. It, it could just be that I'm, I'm a little, possibly just a little fatigued. Um, and not necessarily from solving this puzzle, but just from, you know, it's, it's been, a, been a long week at work and a very busy spring. Unusually busy for, for me. Alright, so we've got the orange and green with a blue point. See, that's sort of like that, but with green. Orange and green with a blue point right there. Okay, so maybe maybe things are, are looking up for me. And I'm going to put it on this hexagon and something magic happens. We got another one. Okay, so that, that worked out well. And uh, I think, as you can probably guess, you know, you get more and more of these as you go up. Real, the pieces are closer together. There are fewer unsolved pieces. It just gets easier as you move up, which is why, you know, maybe the first, um, a t after I scramble a puzzle, I might not work on it for very long. I'll just take a break, uh, come back the next day, because that first little bit is, is th the hardest part. Blue and purple. So, blue and purple, and it's a deca decagon. I think that's it right there. Bring that down. And now I'm looking for a blue and purple with an with orange on it. But it's got a blue point. So did I I think I might have seen some of those. That's the wrong one. I thought I saw some over here. Uh blue. Yeah. Blue, purple, and orange. Blue, purple, and orange, right there. Okay. And there's the piece that it's joining to, so there's the uh, there's the edge. And blue's on the bottom, so it's going to be right there. Now, I, I normally join them on the bottom here, but I'll just show you that it, you can join them on the top, too. Um, it, it's actually quite, quite a bit uh, safer in some ways to join them on the top because you're you know you're not going to munch anything so now this is uh, this is set and I'm going to turn the slot up there you go yeah it's it's you know every once in a while you, you sort of turn the wrong face and you you take a chunk out of work already done and call it munching an edge or, um, and it does happen and it's uh, you know just part of the game part of the game so look at that. That part is already done here. So all we have are these these last few little pieces, and then we'll be done that layer. So uh, what am I looking for? A sort of a mid blue and a burgundy red. Mid blue and a burgundy red. All right. Let's see if I can step up my game for piece um, recognition uh, this time. There. Yeah, it's it's not even a burgundy red, it's a light red. There's the there's the piece I'm looking for. And that just goes right right in because we we don't have anything done on that piece. 
I get. So now that was the first piece, and now I'm looking for a, blue, a purple, and again, that's sort of that mid-red. I guess this could be it right here. We'll see. I was just gonna say I think maybe my my challenge to do better was off to a rocky start, but actually I think that's gonna be good right there. Yeah, that that's the right color. Okay, so I've got my purple mid red, and now I need purple blue with a mid red tip. So point mid red point. Uh, purple, blue, purple, blue, and then red. Yeah, it's coming along here. Okay, where are there it is. And now I just got to figure out, there's a way. So there's the piece, the corner, it goes there. So I'm just going to bring it down. There's the corner that we're putting in. Bring the edge back and joined up. And they can just stay right there while I bring the slot up. We join them and we're back and now we got one more of these to do. Oh, this is this is going well. I can actually see the piece already, so that's that's good to see. And um, so I'm just going to uh, no, I don't see the piece already. Oh, rats! That's a uh, that's a hex square. So sorry about that. Oh, I thought I was doing so well. Uh, but that's alright. I'll find it. I'll find it very quickly. I think that's it. And if I'm not mistaken, it may actually have the um, edge we're looking for on it. Uh, the corner we're looking for on it. We'll see. It could be, yeah, it, it is. It's the right one. So I got really, uh, really lucky there. I got the edge and the corner were there and already attached. So you know, if I was a hardcore puzzler, I'd probably separate them, do a little mini scramble on the top. Just kidding. I don't think anybody does that. Okay, so look at that. Uh, we are now at the stage here where we've done all of these uh, pieces um, around the um, starting face and th by doing all of this we've left the uh, these um, hexagons and square faces uh, they're still usable uh, above and then we have a, a whole bunch of decagons as well that are still usable but now we really are um, when we start filling in this next little bit we're um, going to start moving up towards the uh, end game so I'm just going to leave us uh, right here, take a little break, and uh, when we come back, uh, we'll do kind of the mid-game of uh, the solve of the truncated Icosi Dodecahedron. And we're back, and uh, we've uh, done the, uh, the first layer of the truncated Icosi Dodecahedron. We've added another layer to it, and now it is time to do uh, what I sort of think of as the the middle layers of the puzzle. I think we're going to uh, progress uh, uh, a bit more rapidly now and I, I think uh, you'll find a piece of a recognition, piece finding will be a lot easier. So let's take a look here. Uh, this is this is the goal. This is where we started. So the, the next bit then is going to be filling in the lowest parts as uh, above the work we've already done. Um, so that gives us the most flexibility. So we'll we'll leave the we'll leave the square faces for now and just focus on filling in these pieces. Okay. So we'll go all the way around, we'll do that, and then we'll go in and we'll fill in uh, the square faces which will leave us with a, a ring of uh, dodecahedrons and a, a ring of uh, square faces and, and put us very close to the end game. 
Okay, so um, this is the lime green face that I, I kind of using that as my reference for uh, where we're uh, going along here. And we're going to start filling in these, uh, the lowest part of this face here. Then we'll skip over and uh, we'll fill in that part and so on and so on. Okay. So I'm just going to get started and i um, looking for sort of a burgundy red and then this very strange tan color. I guess we'd call it tan. Okay. And uh, we're off. Now, um, of course, you know, I want to show you every step of this, right? And that's really uh, the point. Um, you know, I, I guess I could do a time lapse, which would appeal to some viewers. Um, or I could uh, maybe just have cut rate where I was and said, okay, and then you just do the same thing for another hour. But uh, I really think that people want to see um, the, the entire thing. And just see someone actually solve the puzzle. So uh, that's really my goal here, and that that's why I'm doing the whole thing. So, but do feel free uh, to uh, to skip around if uh, you know, if you don't you know you had enough, <laughs> you can skip around. It doesn't bother me uh, one bit. So we have a tan uh, there, um, and now I need a yellow and tan uh, edge, and then a, a yellow tan and kind of burgundy uh, it kind of what would that be uh, corner right there so okay that's not it because it's yellow okay so yellow and tan that should really stick out I would say I think you're gonna find yeah there it is the piece placement a uh, piece recognition at this point is I think gonna be a lot easier there are much far fewer pieces and uh, it's, it's just going to be, just get easier and easier. Okay, so this is the piece we're looking for. And um, it's actually burgundy, burgundy tip and uh, burgundy point, yellow, tan, and burgundy. So I'm, but the burgundy point is what I'm looking for. That should really stand out. And I'm saying burgundy as if I know what color burgundy is. Uh... Let's see now. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a piece right there, and it's it's above the area that we've been working on, and because it's to the left, to the right, <laughs> sorry, of where we've been working, it, it's going to be fine. We can just move it without really thinking too hard about it. Okay, so now, so now this piece is on the same uh, face as the uh, target edge, and I just have to join them. The burgundy parts, um, no, we want to do yellow and tan, so the yellow is on top, which means the piece, the corner is going to go right there. So, uh, let's see here. This is really close to the working area, but it's okay. Um, I'm just going to move this. Okay, I'm going to flip this around to protect it. Bring back the edge. Bring this back around, and there you go. So now that's joined, and it's actually going right there. So because it's so close, I actually have to move it aside. Doesn't matter which direction, but just gives me the room to turn up this face, and then accept the uh, the pieces onto it. There you go. So that was done. Not not too bad, right? Not too bad. So this is sort of blue and uh, tan. Again, said like I know, as if I know what a blue and tan looks like. Uh, so let's see. And uh, just because I happen to see it, this piece right here is the the corner that we need. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that while I'm while I'm here, so it doesn't doesn't get lost. Okay, so now I have the corner that I'm looking for on uh, the face, and uh, yeah, there you go, right on, the, right there. And now I'm back to looking for the blue and tan piece. And 
and there it is right there. So um, I'm having some you know good success uh, here finding pieces. Now you know that's probably a combination of it uh, the puzzle getting a little easier, but also I've had a break too, and you know you, you really need to keep keep that in mind. So the piece we're putting in goes right there. So I'm just going to flip this out of the way. Bring the piece in, flip it back. And uh, now i got to figure out where it actually goes. It goes right over here. Okay, so I think it's in a good spot. I'll just turn up the, the slot that it goes in. And I can turn everything back. So that, that didn't take very long. So I've got this um, section done. We're going around. I'm going to leave this for now. I could put stuff in there, but I, I just think it's a little easier to uh, just go around and, and fill in, fill in these in so that we leave the, the pieces above. Okay, so um, I'm looking for a, oh boy, a blue, blue and I don't know what color that is. Let's call it... Uh, pink dark pink purple pink I, I don't really know what that is blue and purple pink and then we're looking for a purple and then blue and pink so wow that I wonder if that's it right there okay that's definitely not the uh, edge but that could be the I'm um, sorry that's not the corner it's the other corner probably, but that could be the, yeah, it is, you see, but that's not the corner. So I'm still looking for the corner, but that was very promising. Uh, blue and, uh, yeah, bl blue and pink and purple, purple tip, purple point. That's the one right there. And just gotta get it on the same on the same face. So blue's on top, which means it's gonna go there. So I'm just gonna hide this away. Now this is salt, which uh, yeah, so actually we we kind of want to preserve it. I think we're good, actually. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, okay. It, it's okay if we munch this part. So I, we're very close to the working area here, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, there's the piece we're trying to put put in. Oh, I see. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm a little too close. So what's happened is I want to preserve this piece, and uh, it it just uh, I'm, I think it's going to be a little better to go off here. We haven't we haven't worked on any of that yet. Up here and join them. So now I can I can turn this without worrying about uh, breaking anything. Uh, what did I do here? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm trying to put this piece in and I'm just... Okay, so now now this is good and we can go back and uh, put put this where it belongs here. Yeah, this has got this got really close. Now, I'm sure I could have figured out a way to do it, but it's just probably just better to just get out of dodge and move move the work um, somewhere else. So I'm looking for a very bright red and this purple here and then purple with the bright red and purple on it so bright red and purple I think that's the one right here this looks correct yeah it does so I'm just gonna move this up to this face and as a matter of fact no it's not quite it looks good but it's not quite right that corner um, but that one is. So there's the one that we, we need. And 
as a matter of fact, if I just turn that, look at that, that just joined very nicely. Um, so, managed to get that put together pretty quickly, because everything just worked out. This this corner is just it's just happened to be there. It's it sort of looks like it belongs, but it really doesn't. Okay, so we've we've got that filled in, and so we're just going around and filling in the this lower layer of hexagons. You know, there is a a a, um, a, a method that would would work just fine going around. Um, I just prefer to do it this way, one step at a time. So we need this bottom edge of this uh, hex face and it's a very pale, I don't know how well it shows up on uh, video, it's kind of a beige, a very very pale beige, not white but beige and actually I see it right over there and it is it is attached to something but I don't think that, that thing it's attached to is, is relevant to us. Okay so wait a second, that isn't it. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, classic uh, beginner mistake. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to solve this thing. Um, that is a hex uh, square, <laughs> and I see the right one is right there. So I'm just gonna <laughs> just <laughs> gonna very carefully turn this down, and we'll pretend that didn't happen. Pretend that didn't happen, right? So, all right. Well, the fact that you're seeing that rather than me editing out, shows you that I want to show you every step of the way. Okay, the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything. So now I need this red and uh, beige. There it is, very nice. And, and the next one I'm gonna need to go with it is red and beige with a yellow point, which is right there. Yeah, this is, this is going, as you could sort of tell, quite a bit faster. So everything's good here. I'm going to bring the um, piece we're joining uh, right here. And I will bring everything back and join them up. So yeah, so that went, that went pretty quickly. Again, we have to move this out of the way because I've got to turn that same face that they're already on. Probably not that... It's an efficient way, isn't it? Um, I, I, not sure I really like working directly above the workspace, but what can you do? So now I'm looking for a beige and green, and uh, and then a yellow beige and green. Oh, so close. Actually, no, that's not it. Okay, beige and green. Again, uh, you'd figure that would just stand out, um, and it, it probably probably does. Okay, and I always look around the, okay, this is the, this is actually the uh, corner I need. So let's just go ahead and get that. Sort of a little bit lost here. Okay, anyway, that's, that's the corner. Okay, so now the corner I'm looking for is, is right there. Still looking for the edge though. That's all right, it'll be here somewhere. There it is right there. So not too bad at all. Uh, there's the edge right there. And now the edge I'm looking for and the corner are on the same uh, de decagon face, and that's always makes it easy to put put them on. 
So this is where this uh, edge goes. So if I just turn the corner out of the way, put the edge where it belongs, and now they're joined. And now I just come down here and um, just find a good spot. This is this is the target slot. Okay, I don't know what I was doing there with my other hand, moving a face or something. Some these faces do turn quite easily. Um, sometimes you just when you're pressing on them, but it's such an easy puzzle to see that and fix it. Uh, it's not like you're moving a lot of stuff. So that one's done, and. Well, let's just keep going here. We're eventually going to get a, get so that we have them all done. So I'm looking for green and oh my goodness, what even color is that? It looks blue, it looks green. Let's call it turquoise. I, I don't know if that's turquoise, but anyway, if it's maybe in the comments you can you can tell me what uh, what color that is. I, I I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at my colors. Uh, so anyway, we'll call it green and turquoise and then I need a uh, green turquoise with a blue point on it Very dark blue. So that'll make it easier to to see uh, Green it. Wow. Ah, gee whiz Okay, look at that green and turquoise. I'm gonna go up top here so there's the there's the edge that we need and Dark blue. That should be fairly easy to find, I would think. But anyway, the dark blue helps. Well, when we know what we're looking for. There it is, right there. Okay. So there's the piece. Uh, let's see. Now I lost my where I am. Okay. There's the piece. There's the edge. You know, I could try and figure out where it should go and try to join them from the top here, but this is fine. So this um, this edge goes right there, so I'm going to hide this away, move the edge in, and then move it back. So there's the uh, piece assembled. It goes here, so what I'm going to do is turn the slot up and then pull this around. And as you can see, everything's joined up, but something's gone kind of horribly wrong. So let's figure out what's gone horribly wrong. Oh, you know what's gone horribly wrong is I forgot a step. <laughs> uh, or maybe I messed it up. Um, yeah, I got to put the uh, the vertical uh, edge in there. Well, the nice thing about this puzzle is, well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that, and you'll see why. I'm going to go find this piece here. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I put it in and forgot or whatever. Okay. So that's so it's turquoise and dark blue. Yeah, definitely forgetting a step there. Uh, but you'll see that on this puzzle, I think that's the one we're looking for. It's really not. Uh, you know, I'm almost wondering if I put it in. I'll have to watch the tape. Okay, anyway, there's the piece there. Okay, so this is how I'm going to fix this. Watch this. This is this is going to be... Okay, so, so there's the piece. Now that's fixed. This is ready to go. Turn it up. Put it in. Okay, so it really didn't didn't cost any any significant amount of time, which is different on a bigger puzzle or a deeper cut puzzle where if you make a wrong move, you really almost start over. There are some puzzles that I will start over uh, if I make a mistake during certain parts of the solve, just because it's it's actually easier. Um, so anyway, so this is going to be purple and turquoise, and then dark blue, purple and turquoise. So let's, let's see if I can find that easily. Wait it. 
dark blue, purple, and turquoise. So that is the corner I need. I just I'm just moving it a little closer to to the action. Um, that's not quite. It looks looks sort of like it, but it isn't quite. So we'll, we'll find it. That combo should be kind of sticking out like. Okay. So. That's a lot of planes taking off, eh? Um, oh, there's there's the piece that we're looking for. Um, yeah, I get... So, in the summer... Okay, so that's going to go up there. We got a lot of tourist camps um, just north in sort of the wilderness north of where I live. And they're serviced by, by float planes. Literally everything that the camp needs, it, food, the fuel, the fishing equipment, everything that a tourist camp needs is serviced by those float planes. So there's a lot of flights. Okay, so this goes in this slot. I probably could have done that a little more efficiently. So that's why there's so many planes taking off. Um, but it's, it's great. I mean, it's beautiful scenery. And, all right, so that's uh, done. And we'll go around here. And if I just kind of peek ahead, notice this one's already done. So this is the last of these hex edges that I have to do. This is really easy because that's done. Um, now I need a yellow purple edge and then uh, yellow purple with a red point. Okay. Okay, yellow purple I th think that's the one I'm not a hundred percent sure because the uh, that yellow yeah that is okay so there's my there's my yellow purple edge so now I just need yellow purple with uh, red the red point there it is right there okay Okay, so if I turn that, okay, so now those are joined. I can bring these both onto this orange face. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, and now I can just turn the slot up here, and now I'll just turn my, my assembled pieces, and you see they joined up with that, this other edge here. So that's done. And now one more here. This is going to be yellow, yellow. Wow, okay, I found it yellow yellow and then there's a uh, red uh, there's a red uh, point with yellow yellow so that sh again I hope that'll be easy to find okay. so the volume of a search area is getting smaller and smaller a little easier to So there it is right there. And now this belongs over here, so I'm just going to move that. Okay, move this out of the way. Uh, move that back and join them up. Okay, so it belongs here. I gotta I gotta hide the assembled edge because we're so close to the the target and another one done huh. okay and as you see we've, we've gone all the way around and uh, we, we filled in all of those well um, so we have it solved if you look at the 
middle layer of the puzzle, um, th this is pretty much what we're working on now. As we move up the puzzle, it's going to be um, the middle layer. All right, um, might as well just uh, keep going here. This is where we ended. And um, so what would be the next thing that we'll do? All right. So the next thing, we want to keep this uh, as, as much as possible. So let's, let's work on getting, um, actually that's not really going to, yeah, you know what? Let's just work on this whole thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, that's okay. That hex, there's other hex edges up there. So we'll fill in this entire um, piece of the puzzle um, right from where we've solved uh, the, the two uh, hex faces. So the two square faces and another hex face, okay? So we'll, we'll put those ones in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do then is put these bottom edges, you always put the vertical edges in by themselves, that makes it easier, and then you assemble the uh, adjacent uh, edge and corner. Um, so with that, um, what I need is a lime green and a blue. Um, that's a uh, square decagon. And there it is right there. I'll just bring it over here. And again, this is okay to turn because we've um, we haven't really solved anything above that, that layer. So anything above the working space is still okay uh, to work on. Uh, the next one that I will need is this kind of this mid blue and a dark blue um, hex decagon edge. And there it is right there. And um, if you're keeping if you're keeping track here, I think you'll you'll see that we're we're making much faster progress here. And I I'm able to just turn the pieces in all these because we haven't solved them at all yet. And now uh, we need um, blue and blue. Wow, blue and blue. And I think it's right there. Okay, I'll let's take a look here if that's that looks good. Okay, yeah, blue and blue, we'll turn it down. Okay, so we have all of the three um, vertical edges in. And so now I'm gonna focus on just the bottom two edges. And, um, you know, and if you wanted to, you could do the outer ones to leave that a little freed up. It really doesn't matter though at this point. So I'm looking for beige with a lime green and then uh, beige blue with lime green. That, that should, I'm hoping that'll be easier be pretty easy to find. So uh, beige with lime green. There it is right there. I think that's the one. And um, so I gotta leave it there be, because I gotta, I gotta solve it uh, over here. I don't really have room. And now I'm, I'm looking for lime green with beige and blue on it. But so lime green point. So that, that should really stand out. That's beige and, beige and blue, there it is. Okay, so I can bring this over. Uh, let's see here. I don't wanna to get too close to the working area. So now it's, uh, it's right adjacent to the, the, the piece that we're putting in. The, even though this is pointing down, it's pointing up, I think when I bring it around, it'll be okay. There you go, so they are joined, uh, and that worked out perfectly. Okay, now, um, where were we uh, working? We're working over here. So, because this is a uh, hex square uh, edge, I've gotta move the, the slot, and there's a lot of work on it already. So as long as I move the slot, everything will be fine. Okay, there's the slot. I'm just keeping track of the slot that I'm moving into. Now, this may seem a little dodgy because we're not actually attaching anything, but remember, we've moved the slot quite a ways. As soon as we get it back to where it belongs, um, it actually uh, joins up. So you see what we've done is we've, we're going along here, we're leaving this, we're leaving the bottom of this part free. 
Okay, so uh, the next thing is going to be uh, lime green and this kind of this mid blue, and then um, lime green, a dark blue, and a lime green uh, point. All right, lime green and sort of dark uh, mid. No, 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 not not that. <laughs> um, actually, it is lime green and mid blue. That's not it though. Okay, um, and it's a fairly big piece. I, I don't know what I was doing. I was looking for a, a, a small edge, so I probably looked looked over this, uh, I looked past it. That's sort of what we're looking for, but it's not quite. It's it's the wrong type of edge. Uh, we're looking for edges in here, um, sort of like that. Okay, that. I wonder if that's it. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's it's really hard to you know these shades of okay and so that's gonna come zipping over here Be because it's a uh, square hex edge it, we kind of have to go the long way that's okay it's it's not gonna Okay, so yeah, that's definitely our, our edge. I've got it close enough now that I can see that that's the proper edge. So now I'm looking for the same thing, um, but the same colors with a corner that has a lime green point on it. So there's our edge. I'll just leave it parked there. So it's blue, blue with a lime green. Yeah, you'd figure the lime green would stand out really well. This might actually be it right here. I think it is. Okay, so um, now you can see that the, the lime green is pointing that way on that, but that way on this piece. That means one of them has to be flipped around. This is much easier. Uh, to flip around. So as you can see that the corner orientation step on this um, there, there really isn't any. They they really don't get flipped around. You, you have to orient it to join it but the corners will stay always in the right positions. Um, so it just makes it uh, okay this is the slot. We'll go up here. Uh, it makes it very easy to solve because there's no messing around trying to get corners lined up like there is say on the tut makes. Okay, so that's the slot, and whoa, and there we go. So that one's uh, that one's done. Okay, so it seems like a lot of work when we first start, but uh, it just it just flows. So now we have this one. Our edge is already in there. Uh, we could pick either one, and it really doesn't matter uh, which one we start uh, at. Um, let's. Uh, yeah, maybe it's probably easier. So this is a sort of a mid, that mid, weird mid blue. There it is. I didn't even have to name the color. So we'll leave that piece here. And we're looking for a dark blue that has blue and blue on it. Okay, dark blue point. There it is. Okay. So come on around here, and there was yeah. There's the piece. So I'm just gonna get it on the face, the uh, decagon that's adjacent to our uh, target. 
Okay, we were able to join them quite quickly. And now, I'm just going to move this slot uh, here, and you'll see that, that there's quite a bit of work already done here. Um, but by just moving the slot, putting the pieces in, and then unwinding everything, um, we get our, our target in, and it doesn't hurt any of the previous work. And that's the methodical way that I'm showing you how to solve this. That's exactly why we're doing it this way. So now I'm looking for a blue uh, and this light pink. And it's a square uh, hexagon edge, which is something I haven't really been, been sort of focusing on. I just look around the puzzle. I think that's the one right there. Um, now I gotta be careful because I've got some work already done there. So I gotta remember to put that face back once I move. Uh, the piece I was looking for. Yeah, so I haven't really been emphasizing looking for which piece type, which edge type it is, because there are different types. Um, and, you know, it, it's probably maybe better to know what type you're looking for instead of just looking around uh, like I do. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for um, a pink, a dark blue, and then dark blue point. So the dark blue point should stand out, and there's our target piece. Uh, close, but, but not quite. Okay, but that's the sort of thing. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. There's the, the work area is really getting down. Is this it? That? Let's have a look here. I found a piece. No, that's not it. Okay, there's the piece right there. Now, um, where are we on... Okay, so this has had... Actually, this one doesn't have any work on it, so we can just kind of flip that around here and kind of head over towards the piece I'm looking for, which is that one right there. Oops, okay, so once it's on the adjacent hexagon, wait a second, that's not the piece. Okay, oh, that's the piece right there, all right. Yeah, okay, uh, it's going to be upside down, so this is getting really close here, as you see, but that's okay, well, I go the other way. Okay, so they, they join. Now it has to go right here, so I'll just I'll hide this out of the way. Put the target up and then bring it back down. And so that's all nicely filled in. And you see we're leaving the adjacent uh, decagon and the adjacent square faces. So but we're filling in everything in between. So that would that looked like a big chunk of work. But if we kind of keep on going here, um, you'll see that we, we are making quite a bit of progress. So our next one uh, would be this. And so we just we just repeat what we just did. And again, it's gonna get easier and easier. So we're looking for red uh, with pink on it. Red decagon, there it is up there. Okay, we haven't done any work on this, this one here, so I'll just Go right down, so that one's in. I'm looking for this uh, blue and red edge piece. They're both very, very um, dark colors, so hopefully that'll just stand right out. I can actually see an edge uh, corner that I'm going to need already. There it is. There's the piece. Uh, okay, we don't have any work there. Actually, I'm going to move this red this way. Um, yeah, just, just trying to find a, a better path for it. All right. Now, there's no work that we're... Yeah, well, actually, there's no work there, so it doesn't matter. There's the edge. That one's done. And now we need a red and gold. Red and gold. Sort of figure that would stand out 
quite easily. Probably is standing out. I just can't see it. Okay. Okay, there there it is. Yep. Okay, there it is down there. And we're not Okay, so this purple has a bunch of stuff on it, but it's okay. We can move a piece and then move everything back because everything's well organized here, so we always have room to do stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so that's the one there. Okay, so three uh, vertical edges, and now it's a matter of filling in the adjacent uh, edge and corner. So this is pink, and so we're looking for something with pink on it that has uh, this kind of this light pink. And it's a hex hex uh, hex square face edge. So that's something I'll be, be on the lookout. Make it a little easier to find. I think that's it right there. Okay, so now this, we're, we're sort of getting into a bit of the work we've already done. So I'm going to go this way. And if you weren't really sure, you can always just turn, turn stuff back as well. If you're not really sure, if you're munching something and don't want to don't want to think too hard about it, you just turn it back and then you know you didn't munch anything. Alright, so there's that. Um, so, so that's the piece. I'll just leave it there. And so I'm looking for red, uh, this light pink, and then a pink uh, point. So I'm just looking at all the pink points and then find red and pink on it. Okay. And there it is right there. Okay. Just got to reorient here. That uh, that's the piece so I'll put the oops and that's where it goes but um, we're pointing in the wrong direction so I'll flip this around okay now this is correct and it goes over here so we've got enough room to uh, you know what I'm just gonna gonna turn that up so it goes in here um, we probably had enough room to do it but I just yeah why take a chance Okay, and so that one's done. Now we're looking for a, a pink and this mid-blue. That's the corner for it, so we've got that. Uh, so this could go really fast. Um, All right, or not. There it is right there, jeez. Okay, now I did say we had the other, that we had the corner already, so I just wanna make sure that um, I don't I don't wreck it. Okay, so there it is. Actually, this is gonna be work out really well because I'll just go up here and I've joined those pieces now. Uh, I don't think we have anything on that face, no. Okay, but I just, I moved them out of the way anyway. So there are the pieces, there's the target. Flip this up, join them, and back in. So that one's done. Okay, so now it's now it's you know we can see it's speeding up a little bit. 
mint blue and gold mint blue and gold okay and then I need mint blue gold with the point and red There it is. Okay, so it's up there. We're going over here. So I'll just I'll just move it just a little closer. Okay, so there it is. It's going there. And now, so I need a mid blue uh, and red with a gold point. right there I think that's it that looks good okay I've got the uh, target on the same uh, uh, adjacent uh, decagon and but I had to flip that around to uh, to install it okay it goes right there so let's get it out of the way uh, flip it up Put that all back together and look at that. So we have another chunk of the of the mid layer of the puzzle. Okay, to do to already done. Uh, so we've got all of that now. Let's see what's happened here. Oh, okay. Um, there's one last little bit over here to do. So sorry, a little over eager there. Um, so this piece is. So I have gold on it, gold and uh, beige or something. Um, it's not that because that's uh, that's the wrong type, but it, it looks exactly like that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, just right there. Yes, indeed. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to move this. I'm going to move it up around here just to get it a little closer. So there it is, and now um, the the um, yeah, corner that I needed was just I moved it out of the way, and I saw it leaving as as I was. Uh, now I got to be careful because this one has work on it, so I'm going to um, assemble those, flip it around, and then put that piece back. And as you can see, it it didn't hurt it one bit. Okay, and it's it's a feature of the the method that we're using, where we always leave one edge, uh, the the upper edge, uh, free. So now we have all those done. I, I was a little over eager before, and um, we're gonna we're gonna do another one of these. We got we got a couple more to do. Um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna gonna just uh, keep going. This was a long stretch, so I'm gonna take a little break. And when we come back, we will finish uh, the mid, the mid part of the solve, the middle layers. Okay, uh, let's continue the uh, solve of the middle layers. We're getting very close to our goal here. So um, our our strategy has been to uh, fill in uh, these uh, middle layer uh, faces, the two square faces and a uh, hexagon. So. Um, the vertical edges are first. Um, let's see here. So I need a green with a kind of a middle red on it. And that is a uh, decagon edge. That's uh, that's the green, but that's a too dark a red. I can see that right right now. That is probably the white, white. The right one. That looks like it. Okay. I'll bring that bring that over here because this is the first uh, the first work in this part of the puzzle as usual we can just freely turn these faces and that will be true of all of these faces um, this is gold and green and I actually think I saw that over there when I was moving that other piece now where'd it go 
Or maybe I didn't. Uh, gold and green, yeah. Now oh, maybe I didn't see it. Uh, wait. Oops. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's definitely very dark. It's a sort of a mid-green. Kind of dark. Okay, and that's gonna be... Yeah, there it is. I did see it. Uh -huh. Alright. So, I can bring that all the way around here, right to there, and then bring it down. These faces were, are like blank slates. We haven't done anything on them so far. So now I'm looking for a green and a, a dark red. Uh, and this is where things, you know, if you get stuff like this where you got oh, two different shades of red uh, and then the same, uh, they're on the same face. It is tricky. Um, so that's just something to, to watch out for when you're stickering. Sometimes it can't be avoided, obviously. Um, okay, this is one of the uh, edges we're going to need corners we're going to need right here. Um, but if you do it, keep in mind that when you get to the end of this, if you have a situation where you can't put the corners, uh, if you get, have a situation where you can't put the edges in the last layer, they won't work out. It's probably, I mean, it, that's certainly what it is. It'll be because you've uh, got some edges with, switched around somewhere on the puzzle. Okay, so it's just something to watch out for. Uh, Okay, because this this puzzle doesn't have parodies like you know anything that needs a special algorithm at the end, other than I mean the algorithm is for the corners, but um, there's no parody cases where you've got something wrong on the puzzle unless you've swapped actual edges. Uh, let's see. Okay, so those are all good. Um, I did see this piece uh, that belongs, this piece here belongs right there, so let's just go ahead and solve this edge first instead of that one, just because we have the uh, the corner right there. So I need a sort of a mid-red and then a gold edge, so I will find that. Uh, I think that's it right there. Uh, yeah, it it is. Well, that's going to be interesting. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Now we we have this already done, so that's good. I'm moving in. That's good. Flip this around, and now I can move this back. Uh, did I did I take something out here? I think I might have taken something out here. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I have to actually put this back first. Now I can do what I was trying to do. Uh, wait a second. Nope. <laughs> Alright, I was trying to be too clever for my own good here, basically, is what it what it comes down to. What have we, now I've really, I've completely lost the recipe. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I was trying to be a little too clever for my own good. Didn't work. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how I can fix this now, because I've, I've sort of, um, sort of lost the recipe here. I had the, the piece all joined up. Okay, that's... You know what? That isn't even the right piece. That might explain why it wasn't working. Okay. <sighs> the fact that you're seeing this uh, shows that I want to show you the whole thing. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to forget about that piece then. This is the edge that I munched earlier. So this has to kind of go off in a little timeout up here. It didn't do anything wrong. I did, but it's going to pay the price. So I, I just mistook this because it looks so close. The red was wrong. It actually goes over here. So I'm looking for a piece identical to that, just with a lighter red. Okay. So, so it's a red, yeah, red, green, a gold, lighter red, green, gold. There it is right there. So, yeah, it wouldn't have taken me too long if I hadn't gotten. Getting off in the weeds, as they say. Into the weeds. Old 
programming uh, metaphor. There we go. So now I've got the right piece. This makes no difference. It's not the right piece. So now I'm going to turn the slot up. So all of that because I thought I had the right piece and I didn't. But you know what? This is such an easy puzzle to to recover from things like that from. It, it's it really didn't hurt us at all. So now I'm looking for a cream and a mid red, and that is a um, a hex square. So that that cream that yeah it may be hard to well no that's uh, yeah that's not it that might be the that might be the uh, corner though as a matter of fact it probably is I'm just gonna bring this over here put it right up here okay so that's that's the corner we're gonna need um, yeah okay I think that's the one. Yeah, and this has, okay, so we've done the work up here. This is a solve, but it's not really, um, it, it's not ready. It's not the right time for it to be solved. So, okay, so I fixed that. We didn't break anything there. And now I just got to figure out. Okay, I'm just going to come along here. Now this has all been solved too. Uh, there's no real easy way to to do this. You, you kind of have to uh, move it along the, these these edges. There you go. Okay, so I didn't hurt anything along there, and I got the piece I'm looking for right here. But actually, it needs to be up there. It needs to be it should be it doesn't need anything it's inadequate inanimate object okay you know what I meant okay there we go so that's that's the right one this this piece actually belongs here but we're not solving that yet so and you'll see that it'll eventually kind of go away anyway once we once we put this in uh, because it because it gets munched by uh, our method and that's why our method only uses the bottom two. I can't believe I did that again. Wow. What did I do? I, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I should get myself tested. Uh, clearly I had the wrong piece. I, I don't even I don't even want to think about this. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm looking for is 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 red mid red sort of a lightish red with cream and green. So let me go do that. Okay, and ah <laughs> uh, yeah, okay it's fine. I'll okay I think that's the one. So, uh, I'll get the hang of this puzzling one of these days. One of these days. Okay. So, there we are. Now, can I actually put it on there? No, I really can't just put it on there. I'm going to have to move this back out here, which is fine. There you go. Now, I think I've said this in the past where if you, if you, move some pieces and then then do something um, you know you you might get away with it but uh, yeah so let, let's sort of see how that works so this is the piece that has to go there now I have to move that back so I'm gonna move that out of the way move everything back which is kinda in the discombobulated state not a very not really the greatest way of doing that I don't think anyway um, and looking at this I think I may not have oh yeah okay I got it yeah so I moved the move the slide okay well by some miracle that worked out 
Okay, so there we are, got that all done. So I, I guess I basically showed you, don't do it that way. That just don't make the mistake in the first place or something like that. Or if you do, uh, uh, you can recover from it. It's not the end of the world. All right, so this, this piece uh, belongs in this face, but it actually goes up there. So I need to find um, gold and burgundy. Now this is the right corner for that. So I'm going to leave that right there. There's the other one, right? Okay, bring it there, bring it there. Okay, so that's the piece that goes there. That's its corner. So what I do, there's nothing there that we need to preserve. So I just get everything out of the way, flip it around, and now those two are joined. Okay, so it goes right there. Obviously, a little close. Bring it up. Okay, so now, now I'm back on track here. Okay, so let's, we, we got this uh, whole thing filled in. Very nice. And uh, sort of keeping, got to sort of keep uh, an eye on the fact that the, the bottom is here. And we want to kind of move up. If, if you don't do that, then it's easy to kind of creep up. And it's fine, but you'll end up with your with your uh, gray kind of sticking, or your last layer sticking out the side while you have everything else done. Um, okay, so we did that. And then uh, the next one will be, uh, let's see, we did, we did those, okay. Hmm. Okay, I may have actually uh, done maybe more than I intended. No, I think I'm okay. Let's see, how's this, how's this working? That's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. So, um, yeah, okay. So this is the this is the lower part. I don't know that. Uh, um, I'll just uh, put these ones put these ones in, and then I think we'll be done. I might have did I skip over anything? Anyway, I'll double check. I'll see where we are. Um, the idea is to do this methodically, and I may not be quite. As methodical as I intend to be, but hey, you get the idea. And, uh, this is real. This is this is real. It's happening as as you see it. Okay, no editing, no special effects, no stunt doubles. This is real. So we need a kind of a, a burgundy and this greenish blue. There it is, right there. Easy to find. And. Then I'm going to need a uh, greenish blue, green and burgundy. So we need a burgundy point that has green and greenish blue. I think it's right there. Okay, so now the, the target piece is right on uh, adjacent to the edge, but I had to flip it around to make sure it's in the right, uh, right spot. So this goes right here. I can flip all these up, flip this around, and then I believe this will be good. And I was seeing this piece here. Um, Wait a second. Oh yeah, and then we got <laughs> we gotta go all the way over here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even. Um, so I'm just moving the piece out. It's as if, yeah. Okay. Pretend you didn't see that. There we go. That's good. Uh, so I think I'm showing you that uh, you can get kind of tired doing a big puzzle like this, and uh, maybe lose your place or whatever. It is important to take breaks. So, uh, and I think that's probably what's happening here. These these little silly mistakes that I, I make, but eh, you know, it's all it's all part of the game, right? We gotta decide how much or how little of this we're gonna do. 
uh, in one sitting. And if you try too much, especially on complex puzzles, it can it can cause you problems. Uh, this puzzle, I think it's fine. I'm, I'm going to push forward, and any little mistakes I make will be. Uh, uh, it, yeah, it's not going to hurt the puzzle. So the uh, corner, I, before I even set it silver and this sort of this mid uh, blue, green, and purple, I can actually see the corner I need. The edge is right there, so I'm just going to go ahead and join them. And so that that went very quickly. So that one's done. Um, I'm going to go through here, and I think I probably, yeah, I probably should have put the put the bottom uh, edges in. Um, you can see it really doesn't make a difference. It's just, uh, you know, whichever style uh, uh, suits you uh, doing it. I, I kind of like to put the bottom edges in, so, but I think I just got a little bit distracted over here. All right, so this is a mid, sort of a mid, Green, uh, <laughs> sort of a dark orange, and then it's gonna go on. Oh yeah, so it's a small piece. I think it's no with purple. Okay. There it is. And I, it comes with a uh, with an edge a, with a corner that really doesn't help us. So what I'm going to do right now is get rid of that. I'm just going to save it because we'll, we'll need it with when we actually put the other edge in. All right. So with that in mind, um, it's going to go, actually it's going to go there, I'll put that around and I'll, I'll just bring this back to, I don't think there's anything, no, nope, there's nothing there. So now we have it, there's the corner I need, and I need um, silver and this sort of dark orange and that's on a uh, hex, there it is right there, a hex uh, square face. So there's the there's the edge, there's the corner, they're merged together. Bring it up, flip it around, and that's done. Next one gonna be purple and purple. Purple and purple. That looks pretty good right there. That really does. And we had that. Um, what I want to do, I'm just gonna take it up here and I'm going to save that because it, it, like the previous one it doesn't help actually it, it it puts a piece that we need kind of buries it in into the work area so there's the piece we need and all I need now is the purple and a dark orange edge hex square I think that might be it right up there okay so I'll just kind of turn this And yeah, it does look like the right one. The purple's pointing in the wrong direction, so we'll fix that. Okay, now it's correct. Put it out of the way. I don't think I munched anything there. Okay, so that part's all done. Wow. This is this is a long stretch, but once it's done, everything else goes pretty quickly after this. You can see the the summit of this puzzle is in sight. Very good, very, very close. Oh, look at this, it's always nice to come in and you see that we have um, a lot of the work already done. Now, let's see how, okay, so yeah, so uh, I gotta fill, fill this one in, fill those ones in, yeah, it's okay, so we're just gonna keep going here. Um, so this is yellow and purple. Yellow. So I already had the bottom edges in. Um, you know, I, I did that obviously previous step. 
so we can just go ahead and fill those in. Um, yellow and purple, and that's going to be a, a a hex square. Yellow and purple is that? Yep, that looks like the one right there. Okay, whoa, I'm getting awfully close to the work area. It's over here. Um, as a matter of fact, I should probably bring it around this other side here. Okay. All right, that's close enough. So, and now I need a purple, uh, purple and yellow. So it's got a purple point, and then it's got uh, purple and yellow on it. Okay, I'm hoping that's going to be really easy to find. Okay, there. No, it's purple and orange. Mm -hmm. Purple, purple. Hey. Okay. Okay, so when this sort of thing happens, I like to go back and ask myself, what was I trying to do? Okay, there we go. Uh, purple and yellow. Yeah, purple, purple. Mid purple. Okay, so it's a fairly light purple, so that might be. I might have been just kind of looking for a darker purple. That's that kind of. That's it, but it's that's not the one. Okay. Hmm. Purple and yellow. Oh, psh, right there. Okay. At um. Eh. Okay, so well it wasn't too far away but obviously a little hidden there on the other side of the puzzle okay so there's the piece I gotta flip it around so it'll join up I'll flip it back um, I didn't, I'm actually that didn't really affect anything so I didn't have to do that okay there's the target slot there are the pieces and there we go okay so that was Wow. So we're up to this level. So the white is on the bottom now. We're up to this level here. I just want to make sure that, uh, yeah, see, I went really high up there. Oh, okay, wait, now that's the bottom. Okay. So, yeah, so the next ones will be uh, filling in this right here. That one's already done. Uh, I need a gold and yellow edge. There it is right there. Okay, and then over here I need a yellow and yellow. Which is right up here. Okay, and 
There's nothing on that face to worry about. And we haven't done anything uh, over here yet. All right. So I put my uh, three uh, vertical uh, edges in, which is what I really should have been doing, and I, I kind of uh, fell a little short of that. I think that this is the edge that goes there. Looks like the right yellow. And so I need a yellow yellow with an orange point. And, um, okay, yellow yellow with an orange point. And hopefully the piece uh, recognition will go a little bit faster now because we're getting getting towards the, the end of things. Now if I turn this down, this would actually work. I could just turn that down, but of course the, the piece went away. But no problem. Just Okay, there's the piece joined up. We're all set. And it goes over here. And I'll just turn everything up and put that in. All right. So that one now I need a gold and orange edge and then a gold gold yellow um, piece with an orange point but golden yellow edge I mean that should be pretty uh, that should stick out pretty easily not gold and yellow, gold and orange, there we go that's the edge that we need right there um, I'm just going to take this gonna put it up here because there's a bit of work already coming up on our right we don't have that um, and we don't have this one uh, quite so free so there's there's the the piece I'm looking for and um, so now I just need an orange point with uh, gold and yellow and I think that's it right there And, okay, so that joins up. Okay, that's going to, that's going to work out there. And now I need a golden yellow. Okay, there it is. Okay, this seems to be a good good spot. It is a little close, uh, but I've been been using it so far, and it seems fine right there. So what do we need? So it's got a, a gold, uh, it's got a yellow point and golden yellow on it. So oh, right there, look at that. Um, yep, that's exactly what we're looking for. I don't have to, th this, we didn't have any work done on that anyway, even though it now looks like it. <laughs> with with that lining up, that was just a, a coincidence, but you'll see more and more of those as we get closer to this finish saw. It's a very shallow cut puzzle, so the pieces still just naturally kind of flip in. So what did I do here? Um, I picked the wrong piece. That's not gold, that's beige. Okay. Alright. We we still got this. So I'm still so I'm <laughs> still looking for oh gee whiz, that's beige. I, now I can see it, but eh, sometimes you gotta you gotta put it right there. That's alright. So I'm looking for a yellow Hello, tip. Okay, now this one. Okay, this one's got to be it. Uh, I 
thought I was doing so well, but not a big deal. So that's the correct one. Um, and now I'll get up here and get it. And we don't care, the one that I accidentally put in that was wrong, it doesn't matter, it'll just go away anyway. So that one's done. And now I need yellow and beige. Oh, actually I'm gonna need that piece right over here. So yellow and beige, that's again, that's a very unfortunate uh, selection of colors that, that's on me. But you know what, when you're, when you're trying to sticker a puzzle, you, you only have so many uh, pieces to use there. Uh, so, so many colors, so many stickers, and you know sometimes you get to the end and you're kind of boxed into a corner. It's like, oh, I'm boxed into a corner. Okay, so yes, yellow and beige. That should be just kind of sticking out, but it's not. Uh, yeah, really. Okay, what am I missing here? Because they're sort of running out of places to look. There it is right there. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I think we can actually now I'll I'll work on it over here. This has been working out well for me. Okay, so there's the piece. Um, this is the the edge, uh, the corner that we need, right here. But it, it goes there, so don't know. That's good. Now this is the target slot. Let's turn it up. Okay, and look at that. That's it. That's done. And you know what? I think we got everything. So what I'm going to do now, so this is the height. So it's just below this, these uh, decagons. And if we've got everything there, just below the decagons, then I think we're good. Yep. Okay. So that's, uh, that's it. And we're back. Ready to continue the uh, solve of the middle layer, and uh, as we approach the uh, end game of the uh, truncated icosidota cahedron. So, just to recap, we've got a, it. It uh, sort of hardly seems uh, possible, but we've got a tremendous amount of the puzzle solved already. And uh, the next little bit is going to put us uh, right right into the end game. Um, you know, maybe it's kind of like uh, the second half of the middle layer solve. Maybe I shouldn't have called it the uh, start of the end game. <laughs> um, anyway, it's what we're going to do is just fill in all of the decagons, all of the square faces, um, right along this kind of uh, line here. And what that will leave us with is just the last layer, uh, hexagons and uh, square, uh, square faces. That's it. Okay, and then we have a little bit of a different thing to do up there, and then, and then we uh, maybe a couple algorithms, and we're we're out of here. Okay, so um, I guess uh, you know there's really not a lot to uh, uh, wind up here because I, I just we've done all of this before. I'm gonna start filling in uh, these areas, and uh, you know this time I'll just go I'll snake around the puzzle. I think before I was uh, doing the low parts and then fill it going back and this time I'll just uh, do it a slightly different way. Now this piece looks very promising but it actually belongs there and we will use that in uh, uh, at some point but first I want to fill in. So this is a sort of a dark orange and pink. Okay so I'm expecting things to get a lot easier to it, a lot easier to find pieces uh, now with very few unsolved pieces left on the on the uh, a puzzle. Uh, of course, I'm having trouble with the very first one, but hey. Okay, that's not dark orange. Um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get this. We'll get this. So, yeah. This is um, not the longest uh, solve out there. Uh, and it's certainly not the most difficult. 
Um, in fact, I would say that um, the the longer saws and the more difficult saws, it's not so much the amount of work you do, but just the the stress level involved. Because there's some puzzles that you have to do some really complex setup moves or some really complex algorithms and if you mess them up that's it you it's a start over from scratch so you know those puzzles I think take a little bit longer I think this is the one I'm looking for and uh, you know you have to take longer breaks I think with those puzzles so something and you know for a specific example heaven's eyes uh, from MF8, wonderful puzzle. One of my favorite ones it's released in the last few years, but definitely not a sort of a, a casual uh, uh, puzzle. You, you really have to, to be on on point. Uh, if I made the kind of mistakes uh, with that puzzle uh, as I made on this, uh, yeah, it it would not uh, it would not go well. So this is the uh, corner that we need. I'm just going to fill this in here, and that's the edge. So I'm going to put put this out of the way. Uh, let's see, we'll bring this up here. Okay, well this isn't going to work too well because now, <laughs> okay, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do is just move this one out of the way. There we go. And now move this back. Yeah, so so this is this puzzle, and just in terms of solving, it's a pretty forgiving puzzle. If you make mistakes, that's fine. But it's still big, and it still gives you a lot of work to do. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh boy, okay, so um, you know how I was saying we could just kind of ripple along here? Well, we can, except it, uh, we can't. Um, I got, we got to solve the lower parts first. I, I just figured it out here. Um, yeah, so that's fine. That work is not wasted, but uh, we really got to solve the lower parts uh, uh, first. Uh, that's why I knew to do that. Um, this is one of those puzzles where um, it, it was... You know, I solved it quite a few times, and but I didn't make any notes. Normally, I make some notes as if I was teaching someone how to solve it, but I didn't make very many notes for this puzzle. So, that's uh, yeah, this one looks good. Okay, so this is the piece we're looking for right here, and I'll I'll get out of this jam. Um, this is actually kind of reinforces my point that. Um, you know, it's a very forgiving puzzle. I, I made some moves first, but they're not wasted. We'll be able to be able to get out. So uh, what I really need to do here is uh, actually save those, and then just just fill fill that in. Actually, that's that's not a bad not a bad thing. I'm just going to temporarily uh, stash this stuff over here. I think that'll work. Uh, now I can now I'm free to just kind of put in this. Put that one in, and what I need to do here, hmm, yeah, I, I think I really just need to do the the uh, lower layers here, um, that one and that one first, and then go back and uh, and fill in the pieces. Yeah, oh well, um, it just uh, so that's orange and yellow right there. Uh, yeah. Orange and yellow. I, th I thought I saw one over here. So, um, yeah, I, I took a very casual approach to solving this puzzle, and I'm sort of paying the price for it now, just as a, I'm trying to explain it. Uh, let's see. Orange. Orange and orange and yellow. So, actually, this, I'm just looking over here. The uh, I believe that this I'm going to need this corner right here, so I'm just getting it. Getting it into position. Um, there's my orange and yellow. That should not have been that hard to find. Okay, so I'm just going to put that out of the way. Move that here. And I don't even know if I'm if I'm doing the right thing by making. I'm um, really not. Uh, should I be making a? Well, you know what? There's there's a lot of different ways to do this. That's not one of them. Yes, it is, actually. Yep. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, no, 
Uh, it's going that way. So I'm just going to take that corner because I, it, I really, it, it doesn't help me to be down there. And I'm going <laughs> to uh, move this up to over here somewhere so I can pick up that edge. Oh, and I managed to put the corner back. All right, there we go. Now it's now it's definitely out of the way. Oh, I think another one just crept in there. Not it. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened here because I thought I had it. Yes, I did. Oh my, I'm just. That's all right. This this will um, this will all be. It'll all sort itself out. So that corner, I don't know where it came from, but it, it's not really all that important. So I need now I need orange and orange. Orange and orange. That should be easy to find, and it is. There it is right there. Okay, so orange and orange. I'm just going to move the, the piece over here. All right. So, yeah, it was important to get all these uh, pieces in here. Why am I doing this? Okay. This, the low piece has to go in, but this has to go in with its corner, and that has to go in with its corner. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. I mean, I do know what I'm doing. I just, well, maybe I don't. <laughs> All right, it's a long puzzle. So what what I need then is a purple and a yellow and orange. Um, so, but uh, purple is the, uh, is the end of the, it's the point. Purple and yellow. There it is right there. Okay. Okay, we'll try and get that. Let's see now. That one goes there. Yeah. Okay, so that's... This is the piece we want. I'm just going to hide it away. Join it up. So not so bad in the end. Um, I was more or less able to recover from that. That's not, yeah, just wasted just a little bit of time. So that one, and I need a yellow orange with an orange point. I, I think I had one of those uh, yellow orange with an orange point right up there. So there's the piece I needed in the first place. I'm just going to bring this up here now. Let's see. That has to go over there. So move it over there. Hide this away. Move it back. I have a feeling I might have munched a, a piece here. Quite possibly. Uh, did I? Alright, well, I'll put everything back and see what happened. Did I? Um, just that one, but. We, we actually need that out. No, I didn't actually munch anything. All right. Um, now, having done all that. Yeah, okay, so that, that's all nicely uh, put together. All right, and, you know, given the fact that then we're going to go around and kind of fill in the rest of these, I think we'll just have to uh, just go around and just do the, do the lower parts of the decagons. That's probably what I should have done as part of the last step anyway. Um... Okay, so that, that's the deck on, and the reason I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to make sure that the white is right at the bottom, so I know where I have to work. So let's go ahead and do these. This is the lime green, and um, got lime green and beige. That's an interesting combo. Now that's lime green and gold. That's not it. Hmm. Okay, should be pretty easy to find, I think. Pretty distinctive color. There you go. No, that's a darker. Hmm. Okay. Lime green. All right, let's take another look at this because. Oh, pff, all right. So that's it. There it is right there. And since there's nothing else around, I'll take that. 
All right, and now I need uh, green and yellow, but I, I'm going to have to put some stuff on it. So, green and yellow is up here. Oh, it already has a... Um, I'm just going to put that back just in case I can't see what's on the other side. I think it's good though. Um, so yeah, so this green and yellow that I need already has a, a piece and it so happens that it is the correct piece. So that was a pretty easy, that was a pretty easy one. It just, it had the corner and, and as you proceed through the uh, puzzle, oh, okay, well, <laughs> all right, it was for that one. Uh -huh. Um, it, it does uh, happen quite a bit more. So, okay, so now I need green and gold. Okay, I, I thought that was beige. I'm, I'm completely confused here. I'm somehow still managing to solve the puzzle. So, um, yeah. Okay, so there's my lime green and gold right there. Um, lime green and gold. And now I need a yellow. Yellow. A point that has lime green and gold on it. Um, there it is right there. And let's see. I'm just going to try something. That goes down and then that joins up. That's what I thought. Okay. So if it seems like we're kind of motoring through this, we are because it's just getting easier. There are fewer and fewer pieces and this will just keep happening. Um, so I need lime green and green. Lime green and green. Again, that should be a pretty... It, that should stand out like... And there it is over there. Okay, lime green and green. Bring it over here, all ready to go. And now I need a, a green tip and lime green and beige. That's not quite it. I think, yeah, that's the one right there, and if I turn this this hex face up, it'll put that piece right there, and I think that's going to be correct. Yes, it is going to be correct. So, over here, flip that around, and there we go. Okay, so now we put that one in. Uh, this is great. Okay, so keep on going here want to do the same thing over here and so it's just the bottom edge of the decagon that we're doing now and then uh, we'll come back and, and fill in the rest of it I, yeah that was a, a bit of a, a blooper on my part to, to try it the other way but you know what it's left in there you're seeing it uh, because it's real right this is a this is the way I solve puzzles right I, um, you know I sometimes goof my way through them uh, pink and other pink. I don't even know what color that is. Anyway, let's call it dark pink. And it's going to be a uh, decagon a hex. right there. Uh, I think I've made that point a couple times that um, pieces you're looking for that are really close to the, to the uh, uh, salt part are sometimes harder to see and I don't know if that's just me or if it's a if it's a thing. All right so I'm looking for a pink and blue and then I need a uh, pink and pink and blue uh, corner. So it's pink and very dark blue. Pink Okay, there's a very dark blue. Okay, there's the corner I need right there, and it's it's kind of I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that out of there. Uh, actually. Uh, 
Oh wait, at that corner will go in later. Ah, don't mind me. There's the pink and very dark blue. Okay, so there's the piece in there. This this one actually belongs there. Oh, this one actually belongs over here. We're not even close to that yet. All right. Um, so pink and this greenish blue, that edge, and then um, we need a dark blue with uh, pink and the, the same kind of kind of blue. So that shouldn't be too hard to find, I would think. Um, just gotta write, find the right shade of pink. There's the, there's the edge. Okay, and now I'm putting this back because there was some work that I already did on that. So that's something to kind of keep in mind as we're uh, working our way up. Um, that it, pretty much every uh, decagon is going to have work on it, uh, especially on the left-hand side as we go around. So now I need a. Um, I've, I have my a decagon. Uh, I have my edge here on the decagon, but I need a uh, blue and pink and pink. It looks like that, but it's a lighter pink. So, and there it is right there. Okay, so that's it right there. And so with this one, if I put it over there, I think I'll be able to join it. And indeed I was able to join it and I have to put that back because I have a, a piece already in place. So there's the, oh, okay. There's sort of good news and bad news. And this is, this is why I'm such a fanatic about having so many different shades. Those are two very similar shades of blue right there. <laughs> so um, the proper shade of blue is this one. So it was the edge. So it's the same edge. It goes on one of these other uh, pieces here, but this is this is why we want to have as many shades uh, or different colors, not just shades, but different colors as possible. Because when you get shades of the same color, unless they're very very different, um, it they can be confused. Now I think I found the piece I'm looking for here, and I will just bring that up and I'm going to turn this one back just so I don't have to look on the other side to see if there's anything on that base uh, that I need to preserve. Okay, so so that's the, the one I'm looking for and I've got to, uh, uh, let's see, this will go there. Okay, so I will just join them. Yeah. <clears throat> so those are the little things that can cause it's not really a parity error at the end where you, you have a, a you have to run a special algorithm or you have to fix some property of the puzzle. Um, but rather it, it's the result of pieces that are um, you they look right but they're not. They're in the wrong place. So if you get to the end and you can't uh, get all the uh, corners to solve, uh, get all the <clears throat> edges to solve, sorry, um, then that's probably it's going to be something like that piece being swapped with the other piece. So just something, something to watch as you're solving it. So this is going to be pink and this kind of lavender color. I don't know if this is the one. I'm going to turn it down because we're close. Uh, yeah, that is the one. But this is the wrong corner. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. So the right corner is going to have a blue tip on it. And pink and pink. So let's uh, let's look for that. Okay, this is the one that's way down here. So let's see if I can do something here. Um, that. Okay, just the way this is positioned, I was going to try and join it, but I really can't. So I'm just going to have to do this. Um, okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Because I just took a chunk of the puzzle out right here. All right, let's think about this. Um, that's the piece I want. So I already have. Wait, this is the corner I wanted. Uh, yeah, I think that. Uh, that's the corner I wanted. So okay, now it's preserved. Doesn't really matter what I do now. Uh, 
I'm gonna fix I'm gonna fix this. Okay, I know how to do it. Put that down, then bring this edge, which is just trash, back over here. And then bring everything back. Wow, that's uh that ah, was kind of a little, little more than I really wanted to do. All right, so I've got my uh, the edge here. Uh, I have that other piece right here, and it actually goes goes on this side. So how am I going to do this? Well, I'm just going to put the piece in, get it out of the way, hide it, and bring it back. So now this this edge is correct and it goes in there. Uh, I'll just turn this out of the way and then I'll bring my target edge up here. Okay, there's the, the target and it goes back. So I made that way more complicated than it really needed to be just because I made a couple of errors there. Um, but that's that's the way it goes. So I've got that. Um, we'll, we'll do the uh, we'll do these next I think uh, oh okay well <laughs> yeah it looks like I, I I'm not quite sure whether I had kind of goofed on my last pass through or just hadn't quite filled them all in enough um, because this well anyway all of this has to be filled in so um, I think I might as well do that right now this one. Yeah, that's right. This is probably what I was supposed to do is up to the bottom of this. So those ones as well. So pink and pink. Okay, there's pink and pink. And I need uh, pink, pink and pink. I somehow feel that I did this. Maybe I put them together and uh, and uh, trash them or something. Or okay, so that piece, the the corner goes right over here. So I might as well just go ahead and and do that. There's the corner. I'll save that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting watching this tape and seeing. All the mistakes I made. <laughs> uh, but that's the thing, and that's what I want you to know. It's just it's part of the game. Uh, the game is not really whether you make mistakes or not. The game is whether you stick it out, right? Um, and you know, big complex puzzles. You know, you can uh, lots of room for mistakes. So there you go. That goes all the way in there. And now we want to put those two in as well. So. What I need is a pink, and uh, that's the one I think I had before. It's a pink and dark blue. I I've seen this around. It's been it's been orbiting. There it is. So that's the one for that. So I'll put it up on this on the uh, gray decagon, which is man, we're we're already using the gray face to to build. So that's a good sign. And now I need uh, this blue, pink, and pink. So I'm looking for a pink. There it is right there. Very easy. Uh, if I put this over here, and then I turn that and I've joined them. Okay, so that, that worked out well. I'm going to move this up. And now we're kind of back back in the groove. And uh, things are going, going smoothly here. So what's the next thing? Well, the next thing will be this whole edge here and as I've already demonstrated to myself and everyone watching very often we have to start at the lowest part and kind of work our way up. Okay. So uh, what is this? This is a pale yellow and this is beige and again it may look white on video. I'm not sure how how easy it is for the for the it to discern it but um, it is a, an off-white. It's, it's a nice color. So, beige and beige. Oh, there it is right there. Easy to find. Now, um, that goes on its own. So, I'm just going to put that right back. I'll just move it out of the way here. And I'm just going to bring... Oh, actually, there's nothing on here. I'm just going to crank that on. There it is. And that's its new home. Right there. 
So my next bid is going to be beige and gold. A beige and gold ed edge and then I have a beige and yellow, no it's a yellow and gold, beige, yellow and gold corner. Okay, so this should be pretty easy to find and indeed I have the beige edge right here. Or pale yellow, that's what I said. There's the pale, pale yellow. And now I just have to find a gold corner that has beige and pale yellow. And there it is right there. Um, let's see, can I... If I turn this up, it'll end up there. So why don't I just join them all in one go? Okay, so I've made those. I'll bring this back, and now I can go ahead and insert that. Okay, so now we got this part. Uh, we're going to do the same thing over here. So now I'm looking for uh, yellow and red. That should really be standing out. There it is. Okay, yellow and red. And now I need um, yellow beige with a red point. And there it is right there. So can I use the same trick? I can. So the target edge would fit there, so I'll just turn this out of the way, put the target edge in, and then bring it back. And I know this is all safe because we're working below that level of the puddle, so I don't have to look really hard. Uh, it's tedious having to check all the time. On some puzzles you just have to check because of the way they're solved. So that's the slot. I'll bring it up here and then put that right in the slot. Okay, so that's all right. So that's solved. Now, okay, and then the next two will be uh, these ones. So we're just starting at the bottom, just kind of alternating until we get up, until we've got all of this. Uh, this part done. I think that's what we're trying to do here. Um, yeah, it's sort of... Actually, it's all that part. So we just really have to stop there and there for now. So blue and cream. Blue and light yellow. I see one here, but it's the wrong color blue. But it's It looks like that. I think this is the one here. Okay, and I'm going to be careful because that's part of a, a face that we already worked on. Okay. I think that's going to be the one. And I need gold and pale yellow and blue. But gold, a gold point should be easy to find. There it is over here. Now it looks like I'm it looks like I'm taking away a solved piece, but that's not really the case. Uh, we haven't solved up to that level yet. All right, there's the piece, and oh, there's the piece. So where does it go? It goes right there. I'll flip that around, bring this over, join them together. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going for, and I'll just move it into position. Okay. I think it's very rewarding to solve stuff like this. You know, it's very rewarding. You start, it's all scrambled, and then you work and you, you get it back. Uh, you know, it's not everyone's thing, but, but I really like it. So this is cream and uh, gold. This is kind of a gold leaf type of metallic, not gold leaf, metallic. I can see the piece right up there, so it's very easy to, easy to find. And I need um, yellow metallic with a red point. So, uh, so we'll find everything with a red point and then take a look at what what else it has. I think that's the one right there. Now it is on a working face uh, where we've done some work on it, but I will get, get
get those. I don't know why I had those. I, I just um, sort of moved a uh, completed a pair of edges out of it, just in case. I don't think they belong to anything, but I might have... Alright, so there's the... Okay, you just got to find the piece. There's the, there's the corner. There's the piece I'm working on. I'm just going to move this a little further this way. Now, it... Okay, so it's going to go over there. So I'm just going to move it. Okay, there it is. I'm going to put this out of the way. And then bring back the the target and there we go put that right in there now I'm just curious to know where those came from so I'm gonna look around and see if I've maybe inadvertently um, I don't I don't really see it Gold, lime green, gold. Oh no, it, it's up there. So that's that. That's just pieces that were they join themselves together randomly, and uh, they're not part of the solve yet. Okay, um, so we got that part. I got this part here, right up to the, uh, right up to these uh, square faces, and we we'll just keep on going. And I think. I think that will take us, well, anyway, we'll, we'll see. But this is definitely the next part. So this is blue and a very light blue. That's a really rough color, but I happen to have it. It's right there. We've not done anything on here yet. Well, I see that one, but that's, that's okay then. So that's where, so all it's going to do is just uh, go alongside the one that's already there. Now, the one that's already there is is not really, um, I actually have to put a corner in there. So I'm looking for blue, the other blue, <laughs> and a red point. So let's just find red point and then work from there. There's the piece. Put it back. Okay, so that's the piece I'm looking for. And this was already here, like I didn't I didn't place it there. Um, but I think we can just solve it just, just in place. Now I don't know if I've no, I think uh, I think that worked out well because the only work we've done so far is right beside it. So that, that worked out and I was able to put that in. All right, so blue and silver. Blue and silver. I love those metallics. They're, they're really very nice. Okay, there's my blue and silver. So I'll just I'll just leave it up here, and I have to find the corner, which is going to be blue, the kind of other blue, with a silver point. So and there it is. Okay, and because it's on that hexagon. It just solved itself in there really nicely. Okay, so now all this uh, lower part is done, and I will fill in these two chunks, uh, which is kind of what we've been we've been doing along here. So I have this uh, metallic and a pale blue as the edge. There it is, and actually. That might be the whole thing. That would be... I think that is the whole thing. Let's give it a try. Yep, there it is. All, all together, so... I don't even... I don't know whether that was just... Yeah, I think it's just random. Put it together. That made uh, light work of that. So now we have a sort of a dark orange and a blue edge. 
I think that's the one right there. Okay, that, I'm just going to check the blue. Yeah, that is, that's the right one right there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to need um, orange, blue, and a silver point. So I just look for a silver point that has orange and blue on it. There it is. Um, and it's over here, and it's got to go on that side. So I'll just turn this till it gets there. Save it. Bring a piece back and join them together. So there's the slot. So there's there's the I mean the progress obviously much much faster now. So when I was working on this before, I think this is I sort of had the idea. I did the bottom layers, but I just didn't follow through. And really, you can do it either way. It doesn't really matter. Um, I kind of like the way I'm doing it now, so I'll just go ahead and fill those in, and that may well be it. Um, yeah, it, I, I think I was very inconsistent uh, there. I may have also munched uh, an edge, too. It's hard to say. Uh, but anyway, just a couple more to go here. So orange and orange. Let's grab that. Okay. Not it. There it is. Okay, so there's orange and orange, and I need orange orange with a purple uh, point. So I just look for a purple point, and then uh, chances are I'll find it pretty quickly because I mean, not that many pieces left on the puzzle. Unsolved. Okay. Oh, there it is, orange and orange with the purple point. So, uh, bring that up here. Okay, so that's the edge, and it's going to go on that side. So I'll just do the usual, the usual technique. Put it here hide it away, bring the edge back, and there's it. It's all paired up. Okay. And so that one's in. So the next one will be that, which is going to be orange and um, gold. Gold leaf. It, it sort of sounds from... it. I don't know. I know I worked on that edge before. Maybe I messed something up. We'll have to look at the tape. Anyway, there's the uh, there's the uh, orange and gold leaf, and we need an orange. So orange, orange, and orange. Yeah, that sounds very familiar. I must have messed that edge up somehow. Oh, well, you get the it, and there's the piece I'm looking for. Okay, when I bring that up, it's gonna go there. No, okay. There's, I was looking for a way to um, try and join it right away, but I can't. So the the corner goes there, so I'll just bring it over here. Hide this. Uh, bring the edge back. And there's another one done. All right. So if I look around now, what I'm expecting to see is all of the uh, second last layer uh, square faces will, everything below it will be done. And I can already see I've got one that's not correct. So I'm going to have to finish that off. Um, it's almost like, yeah, see there's a piece there. Uh, I sort of feel that I might have uh, messed some, some up, but oh well, well, we'll look at the tape. Or not, right? In the grand scheme of th scheme of things, it's just um, I need an orange tip. Okay, there's the uh, there's the piece I'm looking for. So there's a couple ways to do this. I, I can actually hide this hide this piece away and then bring the the piece I'm looking for right there. Or can I? No, I can't. 
All right, my mistake. I thought I could, but I can't. Well, I could have, but... I, so there's the piece that's going in. I'll save it, and I'll bring it back. Okay. So that's joined up. Okay. All right, so that one's done. So uh, looking around, we're on the blue. Everything's done up to that piece. Everything's done up to that. Everything's done. Wow, look at that. Okay, so not quite end game yet, but really, really close. We got to start thinking about the end game here. So I'm just going to put the vertical edge in uh, all of these, and then I'll, I'll, I'll fill in the sides so that we're just left with the hexagons and the uh, square faces. So we're almost done. Just one more row of just uh, two pieces, five pieces on each one, and then we'll be on to the end game. So here's the piece that goes in there. Okay, and you know, I could go around or I could just uh, stay here. Uh, and I think I'll just stay here because uh, it'll probably be a little easier. Okay, I just, the, the piece I need on one side just happens to be right there, so. Uh, I hope I just didn't munch something. Nope. Okay. So there's the piece I need over here. And I need a green tip gold. And there's the... So there's the corner. It's got to go there. Do that. Save that. Whoa. Uh, is that? No. Okay. Don't know. Oh, I'm over here. Gold. Gold on one side. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> the reason that's not working is because the piece has to go over here. Ah, uh, this is real. This is real. Not gonna, not gonna go off and and do extra takes or anything like that. You're seeing the whole thing, and this is just how puzzles are solved. Big puzzles. So that one goes in there. So I got that in with way more effort than it should have taken. Anyway, this next one will go easy, I think. So I'm looking for lime green and uh, pale yellow. There it is, uh, and I, I I came over here to look because I know that I have uh, work on all of the the faces now, all the decagons. So there's my piece. I need something that has lime green, gold, and uh, cream on it, which is right there. Which is probably what I was trying to do in the first place. Put that piece on the wrong side. All right. There we are. So that's done. So you'll see that now instead of doing the whole face, we've only done up to there. So we still have this entire hexagon that we can use to move pieces around. And we're just going to do that for the rest of them. I think there's only five of them anyway, so it won't take very long at all. Uh, we need pink. We need an, uh, sort of a dirty orange and pink. Dirty orange. Dark orange. Um, it's funny, eh? Dirty orange is like a, a pejorative term. And what has that color done to me? Nothing. So, yeah. I think, I think that's the one right there. Okay, there we go. So now I'll do a blue and pink, and I'm not going to get all fancy here because it, it caused me some problems last time. There's my blue and pink. 
I just went in the wrong order. So I need blue, dark orange, and pink. So it's got a pink uh, point on it. Blue, dark orange, and pink. It's right there. It goes on that side. So I'll just move it over. Save this one. Move it back. Okay. And you've seen that step a few times now. And here we go. Done. Now, light orange and pink, which is right over here. And then we need a pink point with dark and light orange. Which is right there. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to hide that away so I can bring this a little closer, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, why not? Oop. So there's the piece. I just, uh, I hid the piece and then I hid the other piece and so now they're, they're joined together. So there's the target. It goes back in. Done. Okay, next up. Oh, gold. See, that's that's relatively easy to, to solve these because they're distinctive. Um, so I need orange and gold. Okay, there's orange and gold up there. And the orange and gold actually has a, a corner attached to it, so who knows, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes. However, before I put that in, I gotta put the bottom piece in. Jumping the gun here. Ah, there's the piece that goes in there. No, it's alright. No. Okay, so there that was a piece I should have put in first. This is the next piece. Yeah, very forgiving puzzle. And now we need lime green and gold. Silver. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Another side of the puzzle here. I'll just put it up over here. Lime green and gold. And then um, it's lime green, gold, and gold. But it's got a gold tip, so that should be easy to find. And there it is. And as we get towards the very end of this, Pieces become closer together. Very few unsolved pieces. Much easier. Okay, we're going along. Um, so this is this is kind of a strange blue and silver. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so that's the vertical one, and now I need uh, lime green and silver. Lime green and silver. That should just be leaping right out. There it is. It was leaping right out. Okay, lime green and silver. And now I need, so it's got a silver tip, lime green, and this other weird looking blue. So just find something with a silver tip on it. Silver point. There it is. Okay, now. So the, the piece goes right here. I will hide that away. So they're, now they're joined up. So 
So we need uh, silver and, and pink, which is right there, and then silver, pink, and this, this strange looking blue. So I'm just looking for uh, yeah, a point with silver on it. Let's try that. Oh, look at that. That worked. Okay, so that went in quite quickly. Yeah, let's just keep going here. Oh, look, that one's all done. So just one more here. There's the piece I need. Oh, I uh, don't want to get over eager. I got to put that one in. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I got the I got the next piece uh, all queued up here. Uh, let's see. Sort of a blue. Oh, that's the one right there. Okay, so now we're back to this one. So. I need a pink, blue, and it's got an orange point right there. Yep. Okay. Put it in there. Put it around. Done. Uh, pale yellow and orange. There it is. And the uh, the corner is gonna have it's gonna be orange, pale yellow, and blue. So let's look for an orange point. There it is. And I just turn that and it's it's no surprise that they're they're starting to be very, very close together now. There's very, very little room left on the puzzle. So that's really the sort of the mid game. I was saying going into the end game, but really now we've we've got everything done on the puzzle except for the last few hexagons. Um, and now we'll just switch gears and uh, use a little bit different strategy, but it'll go very very quickly. And we're back with the end game of the truncated icosi dodecahedron. Um, if you are just joining the solve now, um, this is pretty much where uh, we will start with the special end game um, solving strategies and there is an algorithm right at the very, very end. And where we are at is that the entire puzzle is solved except for the last row of hexagons and uh, squares that are adjacent to the ending face. In this case I've, I've chosen the gray. So uh, the first part of the end game is just pretty much what we've all uh, been doing. We'll put a, an edge in um, the uh, hexagon and then we'll uh, do the adjacent edges. We'll do as much of that as we can and uh, and then we're going to need to uh, maybe save one of them uh, to use to work. All right, but let's uh, let's just see what we can, uh, how far we can get here, uh, before we have to start doing a, a special um, processing on it. So uh, what I'm going to need is uh, this color and then um, orange, which will be here somewhere. I think is it there? Yeah. Okay. So remember everything adjacent to the uh, last face at this point is still okay to to turn. But as we add things in and we move from uh, left to right, it's going to be less and less uh, uh, possible to to um, turn these. So you got to watch. Now this uh, this corner here really belongs to the edge. So let's just go ahead and put that edge in since uh, we sort of have it here. Uh, there's the edge. Not sure what the easiest way to get get that out would be. Okay, I'm just going to pull, pull that edge away. There we go. So there's the edge I'm looking for. I'll just bring it here. And I can still use these uh, um, square faces. Okay, so now I'm going to insert that. So, so far it, it's not much different, but uh, we, we start to run out of room and, and that's where things get get kind of kind of different um, I'll just uh, yeah I might as well put that one in while I'm here so we need uh, pink and whatever color that is pink and blue I guess and 
yeah, piece finding the pieces shouldn't be all that difficult at this point. So there it is. Uh, need something with an orange point on it. Uh, I've got it here. And I'm just going to bring this over. That's the piece that's going in there. And then we'll bring it back. Now there's probably a lot of variations that you could do on the end game, but honestly it's it's the point of the puzzle where I just want to use the least complicated method if possible. Um, so, you know, yeah, what am I going to do? Am I going to solve these now? Am I not? Uh, I think I'm just going to... Um, just going to hold out for now and just solve all of the, uh, the hexagons. I think that's probably the the best way to approach this. Uh, yeah. So with that in mind, I need uh, pink, this kind of this reddish pink. And, oh, lime green. There it is. So, yeah, I'm going to have to move that all the way over here. Okay, so there it is. And now I need uh, pink and pink and cream, and then uh, lime green has pink and cream in it. It's right there, so I'll just bring that over here, flip that around, and uh, oops, bring that back. So being able to use these pentagon faces to build the uh, hex faces, I think, uh, is worthwhile. Now, oops, I kind of messed up here. I gotta, I gotta actually put it in place. So that's why we'll just leave the uh, pentagons uh, for a bit. All right, so I have pink and blue here. Pink and blue. There it is. Okay, so there's the pink and blue. And what I need is a lime green that has pink and blue on it. There it is. Bring it over. Save it. Bring it back. Okay. Well, yeah, so far the end, end game isn't really, doesn't seem like it's all that spectacular, but when we start to run out of room, that's where we really got to start uh, using some, some strategies, some careful strategies. So here I need, okay, I have that, no, oh, here I need uh, la <laughs> purple and pink. There it is. Uh, that's not it. Uh, no, that, that's not it at all. So it'll be on one of these uh, faces here. There it is right there. Okay, so there we go. What purple? There it is. I'm just getting my get myself uh, mixed up here. So purple and pink, and now I need purple and purple, or purple and blue, which is right there. And I need a pink that has those colors on it, which is right there. And I think if I, if I move that over and flip it, that's. So the uh, a completed edge. This is going very fast now. Um, I can actually see the corner I need and there's actually right there is the but if I do that I think I'm going to take out yeah uh, it would have been nice to be able to do that but I, I really can't without taking out some important stuff so we'll just put all that back um, and there's the completed edge. I'll get it out of the way here. Okay. So all I'm doing is just filling in this little part and I'm leaving the uh, square faces uh, to their own devices for now. So there's the gold and blue. No surprise that we actually find the piece we need here. That's actually the corner that goes there. And I just need a blue and orange. 
um, piece for there. There's the blue and orange. Um, that's not really been done. It, it looks like I did some of it, but it, it really isn't. I'll just put that back anyway. So there's the blue and orange. That's the oh, that's the piece I need. Hmm. Oh wait, sorry, I'm I'm over here. Um. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna go over here. Whoop. Flip it around. Bring that back, and now I can join them. There it is. Okay, and okay, we join that. This is blue, and so this is the correct piece here. But I need a uh, blue and lime green that has a gold end on it. Okay, it's over here. Okay, I just I just put the piece out of the way so that uh, I'm not okay. So this one, hmm. So I gotta be yeah. Okay, I just flip this around, bring this back. And there we go, now that one's going to go in there. Okay, so that one's done. Yeah, making some progress here. Ooh, I, I, think, I think we're almost all the way around here. So this is already in, and um, what we're looking for is uh, red and green and silver, which right there, I, I knew I saw those. So I'm not sure if we already built those and I messed them up or if they just were happen to be hanging around, but hey, I'll take it. Um, this is red and uh, pink. So for the red and pink, oh yeah, I know. Um, we actually need one. We may actually need one of these hexagons. So uh, maybe that's what's, uh, uh, maybe that's enough uh, hexagon building. Yeah, I think we need a hexagon. You know what? I'm just going to put this together anyway, just in case. and. Um, okay, so there's the, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put it together because, uh, why, Oop. what did I do here, and why not, okay, but I think it's going to end up getting, getting sacrificed, but that's, we, we, we just pick one, okay, so if we have to, we'll pick the red one, um, I think we will end up needing a hex, I'm not sure. All right, so the next thing then is going to be to, um, we want to build the, the side edges of the square faces, the side edges. So normally we put the vertical edges in first, but in this last step, we have to switch that to put the side ones in. Okay. So, um, and just the side ones, we're not going to put any corners in. In fact, we're going to forget about corners uh, from this point out. So uh, what I need here is, um, oops, sorry, right there. Um, yeah, so the way we're going to do it is by turning, right? Just just by turning uh, left and right. It's, uh, it, it's a bit awkward because we can't really use the top to get the side ones in. And all we can do is just turn. So uh, the way I do this, um, I'll just pick one. So this is the red and purple. Um, we just turn it up to receive it, flip it around, and then and that one's done, right? And now I want to go this way. So I need to find the other one, this uh, this sort of blue, green, and purple, and just bring it over here. So there's the blue, green, and purple. We can bring it over. Now you notice that, that some of the hex, we've turned quite a few of the the hex faces, Oops. so that's something we'll have to put them back. Okay, so that one's in. Whoa. Okay, so that then that one. Okay, so we have those. And now I don't care about these faces if they haven't been solved, but I do want to put these ones back uh, so that they're 
they're in good good condition. Okay, go back here, and now I want the yellow. So there, this uh, yellow goes over here, so I can I can quite easily do that. Okay, so we have to do this systematically, or else we'll, we'll end up uh, on top wrecking previous work. So this one goes over here. So I can actually move that piece over there. But still, I have to fix any hexagons that got uh, dis dislodged. Okay, blue. And at some point we sort of get to a point where we've where we're able to solve the last two Okay, and now this one, uh, that goes there. Okay, so that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Well, that one's not good. Um, it's it, That's the one that belongs there. And hopefully if I flip these, look at that. So now... And we'll double check. We have all of the um, left and right edges of the last row of uh, square faces. Uh, if I've called them pentagons, I may be calling them pentagons just from the top makes, but they're, they're square faces. So if I have, uh, oops. All right. Well, uh, so what's left? Well, in terms of edges, there's just uh, a couple of uh, a couple of things left in terms of edges, which is um, the um, upper and lower edges on the square faces and the last edges on the um, hex faces. So um, what I want to do now is uh, solve the last edges on the hex faces and uh, I kind of like this because we have a good edge here, um, good edge over here we've already put it in. So um, what I'm going to do is um, use this um, hexagon uh, to help me uh, solve all of the other edges okay and the way it works is this I'm going to turn it um, and I turn it up here and I know we're gonna we're gonna munch this I'm gonna put this pink one in and turn it down so so we know where we are and this is this is where the gray face is stays and now I want to find the spot that has a pink a dark pink and it's over here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to bring the dark pink, the, the one that was above the dark pink, turn this up and turn it so now it's above the pink. Okay. Okay, so now, and then this is correct. Now we're going to take a look at this one. So this is lime green, which is came from some other face. So we're going to take a look and find out where the lime green is. Um, oh, sorry. I guess I guess I gotta gotta turn it. Um, which one was it? Oh, it's purple. Okay, so now we gotta find out um, where the the uh, purple goes. So I'm gonna turn it out of the way. Put the one that we're we're using. You'll see that it all works out actually. So we gotta find the purple. Uh, there it is, right there. Just to show you the purple. I I normally don't don't turn the whole puzzle. So the purple's here. This is the one that belongs here, which is fine, and, and you'll see it just keeps going back. And we'll put the purple, that's the proper spot for the purple. Okay, and you can see it ended up correct. So this is a strategy. So this is good, this is good now. So this one is right here. So um, what I'm going to do then is turn the piece that's above it to our working face here, our working hexagon. Put the good piece in and then turn it back. Okay. So uh, yeah, and just to make sure I'm not making any mistakes here, I'm gonna gonna put this put this back. So this is good. So the next one, actually that one belongs here, but we have the blue there, which is over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this up, bring the piece that's over the blue here, put the proper piece in there. And then go. So what has happened here is that everything's worked out perfectly. All of the uh, hexagon edges are now correct. 
pretty cool, eh? So what's left? Well, what's left? Whoa, let's go. <laughs> what's left is the um, top and bottom edges for the square faces plus the corners. Okay. Well, let's use a similar kind of approach to um, the, the square corners. Now, if I flip this, it doesn't hurt these as long as when I am done, they end up being in the in the right uh, positions, right? So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say something like, now we, we, we got to be careful we kind of put everything where it belongs. Um, so I, I kind of like this because this one's correct. So I, if I possible, I'd like to start with a correct one. So I have a correct one. And I have an incorrect one here, which is a sort of a lime green, um, and it, it actually belongs over here. So um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to flip this up. So now this is where this this one belongs. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to flip that, bring this back, and then flip it around. So now I've put the proper one in there. Okay. Now over here, this is correct, but it'll it'll keep it'll correct itself. And notice that our everything else is still correct. So now I have a yellow. So the yellow, yellow and gray belongs over here. So as I'm sure you can imagine, we bring the piece that's over the yellow and gray, the incorrect piece, put the correct piece in, and then bring it back. And as I say, I don't usually um, switch, um, move the puzzle when I'm doing that. But there's the correct piece. Okay. Now, all of this is happening on one particular face. I'm always picking the red face. That's my working face in this case. So now I have a purple and pink. So I'll find out where that is. That's over there. So um, I'm going to uh, move the this piece above, flip it around, bring it back here. And now I can put the correct piece in its place bring it back, and then bring this back. Okay. So now I have cream and yellow, cream and yellow, which is over here. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring our, our working piece over, bring it back. So we're using that working face to move stuff around, and we're very slowly getting everything uh, put back together. Um, in, in, in its right place. So uh, now this one actually belongs there so we, it works perfectly fine. Bring the wrong piece and move it back. There you go. Now I have a, a purple and gray which is over here. I'll bring it in. Okay. Flip it over and put it back. Okay, I got a blue, which uh, you can see these two pieces are swapped here. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go move this over. I'm going to get the piece that I want uh, to move. Uh, put the correct piece in, bring it over, flip it around, and bring it back. Okay, now how did all that go? Um, it sort of went okay, except they got a couple of... I think I got two pieces that are flipped around. Yeah, I got two edges that are flipped around. So as long as I don't have any other problems, I should be able to flip these around. These two and these two are flipped around. Okay, and I didn't mean to do that, but it happens sometimes. So how is this going to work? Well, what I really want, um, this piece is wrong, and that piece is, they're both in the wrong spots, and these ones as well. So what I'm going to do is just, Move this one back and flip that over. Okay, and now it's as if we're gonna we're gonna start over here. So this is the piece that I want to replace with that. Okay, now I've replaced it. Now I can turn this over here, and this piece should be replaced with that. And we'll move everything back. And if I did this all right. All of my, all of my edges now should be done. Okay. 
So I'm just going to you know, flip, flip it over so you see what everything else is done. Now, if you're solving this and you have edges, you can't get all the edges, there's a very good chance that you've got uh, somewhere else on the puzzle two very similar colored edges switched. Right, so two blue and greens that are very close in color. These aren't, but if they were switched, it would cause you to not be able to solve the edges at the end. It's just something to think about. Otherwise, there's, there's no other reason you can't solve all the edges. So what's left on the truncated icosidodecahedron solve? Just the corners. That's it. All right, well, we're back and time to tackle the last corners, the last unsolved pieces on the truncated icosi dodecahedron. So um, I'm going to show you the uh, algorithm to do this. Uh, I'll put the, uh, the algorithm on the screen, um, which will uh, uh, help you follow along, if you, especially if you know cube notation. I'll put it in the uh, comments. Uh, but really it's, four, it's uh, eight steps. And so if you're not really into cube notation, I'm going to show it to you enough times um, that you'll uh, be able to follow along, I think. So when you're setting up to do your uh, algorithm, um, you set the puzzle like this. So you've got the two uh, decagons, uh, left and right, right and left. Um, you've got a, a F face, which is a hexagon. Uh, you have a square, which is just up above here. It doesn't have a designation. And you have a, a left and a right square here. Um, we call this a, a, a mid-left and a mid-right, just, just part of the way puzzles are, are designated, puzzle faces are designated. Okay, so right, left, front, MR for mid-right, and ML for mid-left. Okay, so each algorithm only uses three faces. Um, there's a right-handed version and a left-handed version. I'm going to show you the right-handed version here. So what the algorithm does is it moves a piece from this uh, corner, the upper right uh, corner of the, the square, moves it to the vertex of the hexagon, moves that piece over to the uh, this far corner of this square, the uh, ML face, and then moves that piece back up here. Okay, so there to there to there. Now, usually when you're doing this algorithm, you have to do some setup moves uh, because, for example, in this case, this piece would go there, but it actually, it's blue, blue on the uh, point and it has pink and gray. Well, that piece actually goes there, right? So in order to make this work, the first thing I'm going to have to do is a setup move to move this piece down to the uh, point of the hexagon. Okay. So now when we do the algorithm, we'll move that piece to here, that piece over there, which will solve it, and then this piece up here, uh, which won't solve it, but it, at least it moves it. I, when I'm doing this at first, um, I only want to uh, solve maybe one piece at a time. Sometimes we'll do setup moves, get two pieces. The only time I really try to solve three pieces at a time is on the very last uh, move. So you see that this last uh, swap is, pro is troublesome for us because it's going to munch a, a good piece. So uh, I'm just going to turn some junky piece um, into that position. So if I look at this uh, hexagon on the top, if I turn that in, I don't care about that piece. It's not going to solve anything. But now that's going to be cycled in there. This is going to go over here to be solved, and that's going to go up there, and it's just going to be there. In fact, I think, I think one more cycle might... Uh, might put it in its right place. So that's the strategy. There's only uh, eight moves to this. So when I say R, that's a clockwise turn of the R face when looking at the face. And when I say R prime, which is to, has a little um, apo apostrophe after the R, that's a counterclockwise turn of the face. Likewise, F is a turn of the F, the front face, and F prime is a counterclockwise turn. Um, for the MLs, uh, ML uh, only can only flip over, so um, basically whenever you see ML, you just flip it over, uh, or MR, whichever. Okay. So in this case, we're using, um, we're using R, F, and ML, so only those three faces in this algorithm. All right, here we go. 
So R prime, so that's counterclockwise. F, so that's clockwise. ML, so we're just going to flip that over. F prime, so we're going to go back here. There we go. Okay. R, which is going to be clockwise. F. ML. And then F prime. All right, well, let's take a look at what happened. This piece got solved. This piece was the one that used to be there. And then this piece uh, came from over here. And then we look at this and go, but wait a second, it's all messed up. But I have to remember that I did setup moves. So what was the last setup move I did? It was the one up here. So I'm going to undo my setup move. Okay, and you have to do them in reverse order. And I also moved this piece from its position up there. So now the puzzle, all of the edges are still soft and we got we have one fewer corners to solve. And that's the whole strategy behind uh, solving this uh, uh, behind using the algorithms and this uh, yeah, the end game. So I see here I have a, a corner that actually belongs here and I think we might be able to make use of that. So I'm just going to turn everything. Remember we want to have it so you have um, a right and a left uh, decagon, that you have a hexagon F front face, and you have two square ML faces. So um, the piece I'm looking at that, that goes over here, it's actually up here, um, but uh, I think I can turn it uh, in. Maybe I can't. Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe it's the wrong piece then. Yeah, it's probably the piece that belongs there. Uh, wait, maybe. Oh yeah, it probably is. Sometimes, um, yeah, you, if, if you can't get a piece into place, you can use a left-handed algorithm. Um, and I think that's probably where we're at here. Okay. You know what? Actually, this is, wouldn't be a bad try for the, the left-handed algorithm. So the left-handed algorithm just is the mirror image. We move the piece from here to here, and then from here to over here, and then back. So, I think that this is the piece that uh, this one goes into, and it's quite easy to uh, move this over, I think. Uh, you know what, that's... You know what, that's probably the piece right there. No, it isn't. I don't know. Oh, actually, there it is. That's the piece I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the piece that goes right there. So, all right, I'm... Okay, so now I think we're good. So that piece will go there, that piece will go there, that piece will go there. Okay, well that's a bit of a problem uh, because uh, I want this piece to go right there. So I'm going to do the same trick I did uh, the last time. I'm going to turn the L face. Now this is a L uh, move and that's a setup move. So now that piece will go there which will solve it. And now we need to put something in there that we don't care about. So I'm just going to turn this, and we definitely don't care about that. However, um, by a nice coincidence, I <laughs> plane taking off here. I I'm not positive. I think this might actually solve that piece, so we might get two out of this deal. Okay. Now it does look all messed up. We just got to remember the last um, setup move and then it'll be it'll be fine. So the left-handed version of this now is L which is clockwise when looking at the at the face F prime so we're going to go F prime MR so we flip that one over this is right now F so we'll go back L prime, so we're going to go back on the left. F prime, we'll go back. Uh, MR, that again. And then F. Okay, and I just, it's because I'm holding the puzzle in a 
bit of an awkward way here. Okay, there we go. So we can see that the piece we we're trying to put in um, actually did go where we wanted it. Uh, the piece that was there went down there, and then the piece that was over here went up here. Now, in order to get everything back, though, have to undo our setup moves. So this was the last setup move we did. Okay, we did that one. That worked well. Um, the other setup move I did was to uh, move um, this. Um, I moved that piece from where it had started. So we'll go. We'll undo that setup move, and then I had moved this. I really did quite a few setup moves here. Um, I had flipped this over and then moved this around because I wanted to. I wanted to solve that piece. Okay. So uh, there are. You can do a lot of setup moves um, <clears throat> on a puzzle like this. So it's fairly easy to undo it as long as you remember uh, the order, especially the last one. Okay. Well, that's. <clears throat> I believe we solved. I think we might have solved two pieces there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, that one actually does go there. Well, that's a cool thing. All right, let's see if we can take advantage of that. How can we, we use it? Um, yeah, so basically I could run the left-handed algorithm. We would just need something to put there to catch this piece, which is not, uh, not part of it. Um, but actually, this is gray. Uh, you know, here's the problem. This piece goes here, and I think this one probably goes in that slot. So we really can't cycle them in one go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some piece that I don't care about uh, from this side um, into our MR, into position right here. So I'm going to do the, um, the cycle again. Um, yeah, I'll do the, the left-handed version, and it'll go from there to there to there to there. It'll just solve one piece, but that's all I care about. I just solve one at a time, and it, you'll see that it actually goes a lot quicker than, than you might expect solving one uh, a corner at a time. So the, uh, the algorithm then is L. So remember, that's clockwise from when you're looking at it. Um, F prime. Yeah, it's just, uh, just a little, that's F prime, MR, F, okay, L prime, that's counterclockwise, uh, F prime, which is counterclockwise, MR, and F. All right, so uh, how did that go? Well, we definitely got the piece uh, in that I wanted to get in. Um, we did a couple of setup moves. I think it was just the one setup move over here, so I'm gonna undo that. And okay, looking looking better. It's just, uh, it's surprising how quickly this can go. So I don't see anything uh, else obvious over here, so I'll leave it. Um, and just uh, look around now, and I'm just looking around for uh, potential uh, uh, moves. Keeping in mind that, that if the, the algorithms operate on these corners, but it's quite easy to flip, and it's also quite easy to uh, move a decagon um, and get new pieces in there. So um, you, you, after a while, you'll sort of develop a, an eye for the different setup moves you can do. Um, so let me see here. I actually see... That looks good, but it, it's not gonna not gonna work. I can't I can't go from there to there. Um, let's see here. That one. So, uh, do I have one that would go there? Actually, oh no, that one can go there. Okay, I think I might have something. No, that. Unfortunately, that <laughs> um, we'd have to move it up here or down here, and it's in the wrong, wrong spot. So that can't work for us. Um, yeah, great. And uh, all right, so it's just a matter of looking around and finding good ones to, uh, good ones to do. Um, I sort of like it when they're a little busy because you can maybe find more. Um, Okay, this orange one is intriguing me. Orange, purple, and with the red. So that's the right piece here. 
Okay, I think we can do this. So if I flip this over, then that is the target. And if I flip this over, then the piece would go from there to there. So it's a little bit awkward. But if I do a setup move, okay, so now this piece will go there, which is what we want. And I just have to find something uh, to put in there that, that we don't care about. And if I can turn this piece, you see this, uh, that might actually do it. Uh, but you know what? That piece is in the wrong orbit. To, it, it actually won't go in there. So I'm still stuck. i got to find something to put in there. Now this is where things can get a little bit... Uh, you can do some pretty wild setup moves. But on this puzzle, it isn't bad. So I have a piece over here um, that looks like I can put it right up here to, to kind of make sure that... So we don't munch that piece. So I'm going to... I'm going to try it. So I'm going to turn that one... I'm going to turn that one, so this is the piece, and now I'm going to turn this hexagon. Okay, and indeed, this so this is a piece, I call it a sacrificial piece. This is a piece that we don't care about, but it helps us in an algorithm. So that will go there, that will go there to solve that, and then that will go there, which actually, when I look at this, might actually solve that. I don't know, maybe... It, it might. No, it might. It sort of has the same colors as the edge, but I don't know if it's going to end up there. Anyway, so we're ready to do the algorithm now. Because we're over here, um, and we're working this way, we want to do the left-handed algorithm. So we're going to go L, uh, F prime, which is counterclockwise, MR, let's flip it over, F, L prime, F prime, MR, and F. Okay, so uh, the piece I wanted to solve is, is in place, so that's good. Um, and uh, the piece that was there went here. Now this looks like it's good. I think it might be okay. I think I might have solved a, another piece, just not really intentionally. Got to remember though, this was a pretty massive setup move, but take a look. This looks pretty bad, but we know that that was the last setup move we did. So I'm just going to turn this back, uh, turn this back, and turn this back. So I think I actually did solve that piece, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased. So that was it. It wasn't all that complicated. This one, um, remember I moved the L as a setup move to, to get this piece into place, so I'm going to turn that back. Um, looks like I flipped this over. Don't remember doing that, but hey. <laughs> and then flip this over. And that's the beauty of this, of this puzzle. It's so easy to do these setup moves. And if we look around, you know, those... those um, those corners are, uh, are, are getting uh, fewer and fewer unsolved corners. So one of the th strategies I like to, to do is try and uh, not have any corners that are way uh, out to try to uh, solve the, the edge cases, if I can, the ones that are on the edge of the solved part of it. Um, I see one up here. This one actually belongs down here. And I'm trying to figure out if I can, if I can actually solve this or not. Uh, from where we are, we're at. Uh, unfortunately, this is... It, it. Let's see, what would I do? Yeah, so this could be solved if I did a setup move and moved it over here. So that would be a right-handed uh, algorithm, which means the piece would have to go over here. Yeah, you know what? I can do that. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is a piece I want to solve. So it's yellow, cream, and pink, and that's the piece that goes there. So I'm going to move this one step this way. This is the target. I'm going to flip it around. So now it's in position for a right-handed algorithm where we're going to go here, here, and here. Well, the issue is that that's already solved. That's the piece I want to go there. So I'm going to do a combo setup. I'm going to uh, turn this, and then I'm going to turn this down. And now that piece will go there to solve that. That piece will go there to, looks like it'll actually solve that. That was a, oops, no, it's going to go over here. Um, but this piece is not in its right spot either, so I don't have to worry about it. It'll just munch that, 
this one will go here and it's not going to affect anything. That was a lot of setup moves, um, but uh, I, as long as you remember the last one I did was that, uh, it should be easy to unwind them. Okay, so this is a right hand, so it starts out, it's R prime, um, which is counterclockwise, F, which is clockwise, uh, ML, so over here, uh, F prime, counterclockwise, um, R, okay, F, ML, and then F prime. Okay, so you can see I got that one in there, so that, that looks pretty good. And this whole bit was the first setup we did, so let's not fool with that right now. Um, the, the last setup I did uh, I was uh, moving this, moving everything down here. Um, so I'm going to undo that. Okay, And then I also did that as a setup move. So we got that all taken care of. Uh, yeah, we didn't actually solve anything up there, but... We definitely solved this piece. So I'm going to flip that around and then bring that down. So there was a piece over here that was not solved. Now it's solved. One fewer piece to, to do. Uh, okay, so let's... Uh, so I see this green one here, lime green. That looks... I wonder. Um, that goes there. Uh, see, none of these are on the... Uh, are right on a vertex. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I wonder if I could... I don't even think... Yeah, I guess that is the, the one. So that one's wrong. There's a whole bunch of them that are wrong here. I'm just looking for a way to get these. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see here. I've got the orange. So this one, got it's got to go here somewhere. Right there. Ah, there we go. Okay, looking good. So, if I flip this over, so this would be the target for that one. We do our usual setup move because this is in the wrong spot down to here. So far, so good. And now all I need is for something to accept um, that piece up here. But if I look around the puzzle, so this is, it's at a purple uh, point and pink and mid blue, uh, turquoise pink and turquoise. Well, that is the target for this piece. So if I could somehow get that over here, we would solve two pieces at once. Let's see if I can do that. Um, well, just let's try just flipping it. So this is our target. Uh, and then look at that. Beautiful. So now this one is going to go here, which isn't going to solve anything. This one's going to go here, which is going to solve that. That one's going to go there. We're going to solve that. We're going to get two out of this. And this is a right-handed three cycle. So let's, let's begin. So it's R prime, F, ML, F prime, R, F, ML, and F prime. Okay, so that piece went in. Uh, looks like that piece came from down here. That piece went in from there. So this was our last setup. So let's see about putting this back. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at that. That's all done. Um, now, what were some of our other setups? We did this to get and get that one moved down, and then I flipped this around. So, uh, definitely making some some good progress here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we just got to get it. Um, you know where this is going? Is that at some point there are three left, and you do a, a massive setup to <laughs> get them get them into. Uh, into place. So this one actually goes there. I wonder how we can use this. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of all the different angles here. OK. 
Okay. Um, see, there's not a whole lot up here for us to, to use if we needed some, some uh, extra pieces up here. So if I move that over here, uh, that doesn't really help. Actually, that's where it goes. I don't know. All right, just got to be. This is this is the challenge of the last layer, uh, moving. Now that you know how to move corners around, um, you know, and you can just try different things. This is such an easy puzzle. If uh, you know, if something goes kind of off the rails, it's not, it's not like you have to, you know, work for hours to solve things. So this, okay, so this is uh, this is sort of burgundy, dark blue, and gray. So that piece goes there. So if I flip this over, okay, so now that piece is ready to go there. And if I put that piece there, so now I have that, which would go there, which would go there, which would solve this. So I can do a couple of things. Um, I see a really good thing to do. So this piece actually goes there. So. Let me turn this uh, face one step, and that, wow, this is going to be good. So that will go there, that will go there and solve it, that will go there and solve it. Wow. Okay, so some setup moves, but again, as long as you remember the last one was a hexagon, I think we'll be okay. So um, this is going to be another right-handed algorithm. We'll let the plane take off here. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's just go go ahead. R prime. F. ML. F prime. R. F, ML, F prime. Okay, there you go. So um, I see that one got got that wasn't expected to be solved, but that one got solved, and that one got solved. Now got to undo that setup move. What was it? Well, the last one was turning this piece uh, down. Okay. And then where would my other setup moves? I flip that, and then I had moved this to get that piece into position. Okay, so it's uh, it's coming along. What do we what do we got? We got uh, just sort of keeping score here. We got one, two, three, four, five more. So, and we know the last one will cycle three. So at most we have what three more of these to do, I think. Now, I can see that this piece right here goes there. So how can I, how can I use this? Uh, see, the problem is that if I put that there, there's actually no way, hmm. Oh, it goes there. Okay, that's, that's different. Okay, so I could flip that around. Ah. Uh, um, the the concern I have is that there's literally nothing up here to use as a sacrificial piece, but that might be okay. I mean, that's a good sign, isn't it? Okay. Let's see here. That piece goes there. That piece goes there. <laughs> Funny. Okay, I think we can. I think we can do this. So I'm going to take this. Um, this piece will solve that one. So I'm just going to do a setup move. And so now a right, um, a right cycle will put that there. And now I'm going to move this piece into that slot. Oh, okay. I think this is going to work because this is going to solve that one, and then that goes there and I don't know if it will solve it but it, it does look like it's right it might actually is this possible to solve three nah not possible maybe 
Okay, we just got to remember that the last one, I, the last uh, setup I did was the uh, hexagon on top. Okay, so this is a right, so it's going to be R prime. So that's counterclockwise. Uh, F, which is clockwise. ML. F prime counterclockwise. R clockwise. F ML and F prime. Whoa. Okay, and just to double check that everything went as expected, that one got put in, that one got put in. You know what? I think I solved three pieces here. I don't think if that doesn't happen too often except in the very last step. Alright, I'm going to undo that one setup move I did. Uh, there you go. And then there was another setup move here. Um, so you know what? I see three pieces left. Wow. I see three pieces. So according to the law of the puzzle, uh, if this is solvable, then we can do it with one setup. Now, do you want to do it with one setup? Um, you know, it, it can be a bit of a challenge. Uh, let's see. If I move that to here. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a one gigantic left-handed. Now, the problem is I might have to run the algorithm twice. Um, because this actually goes, goes in that spot. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can find a way to... Uh, how do we do this? Uh, we might actually be able to, to set it up. So, if I wanted to do a left-handed, in order to for this to end up here, I have to flip this around. Okay, so now that, that'll solve that, and then we have to somehow get that to go into that, but because this is a left-handed, it's got to be over here. So we're going to move, this is the slot, I'm going to move it here, and I just know that I can't position it here anyway, but this is okay, so this is a slot. When I flip that, now we have a perfect recycle. This one goes here to solve that piece, that one goes here to solve that piece, that one goes there to solve that piece, and remembering that the last um, setup was on the bottom here, flipping that and turning that uh, decagon. Okay, so this is left-handed. you got to remember that. So we're going on the left. We're going to do L. F prime. Now MR, which is on the right here. F. L prime. So counterclockwise. F prime. MR and then F. Okay, so well what happened? Well that one looks like it gets solved. That one looks like it gets solved and that one looks like it gets solved. This one I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, it's probably okay. So I gotta remember what my setup moves were. The last was this. So I flip that around and then I move that. Ah, that's why that piece looked like it was out of place. So then I flip that, that looks good. And then I flip that. Okay, wow. So let's take a look around the puzzle. And remembering that all of our unsolved pieces were uh, around the uh, gray face or ending face. But let's just make sure, I mean, hey, maybe, maybe something snuck in there at the bottom. Nope. The truncated icosid dodecahedron is finally solved. Okay. Um, I I hope that that explanation of the um, the three cycle uh, is is was enough to uh, to get you to try it. I encourage you to just try a few of them. Maybe try it on a solved puzzle if you um, if you want. Um, it, it's a fairly simple algorithm. 
Um, but I understand, you know, the lefts and the rights and the switching phases uh, can be confusing. So um, anyway, that's it. That's how to solve a TI. And as an added bonus, uh, if you can solve a TI, you can definitely solve the uh, void truncated icosidotachyhedron using exactly the same methods. Okay, this one is a lot of fun to solve too. These are uh, also third-party stickers. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, that's it for the uh, <laughs> for this uh, a long, long solve. Um, I hope that uh, this was valuable for you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you like these long, uh, full uh, solve, scramble and solve videos? Um, and uh, if you do, uh, let me know what other puzzles you'd like to see uh, with this uh, treatment. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. Uh, as always, I appreciate any comments or questions. And until next time, thanks for watching.